Maybe we we save the rest of it for the show then. Yeah, I mean we're we're online, Mike. Yeah, we're, well, I, yeah, but I mean, we're, we're recording, right. right? We haven't. This isn't, you know. This is like the pre whatever the pre right, the intro. preamble. Yes, <laughs> the preamble. <laughs> the preamble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you guys are ready, I'm I'm good. Okay. All right, it is Thursday, August nineteenth, I believe. This is Game of This Podcast four hundred and thirty-four. I'm one of the hosts here, Aaron. Tiny is also here. I am here, and I'm, I, I'm two in a row. Who can believe? I know, right? We're back. Mike is here, except for next week. We're back. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Hey, I mean, we we <laughs> could we could figure. We might try to figure something out. We'll see. So, I, yes, I am here. And we have a guest this week. We have BC Terps. I'm not sure if he wants us to say his his, his, government, his name. government name, but we can. I have his social security yeah. number written on this piece of paper. I can knock it. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, good to be on. Good to see you guys since we last saw each other. <laughs> it's, it's been that <laughs> long, right? Ago? Yeah, not that so. long. <laughs> All right, so uh, but let's jump right in. Ben, what has been going on with you? I just said your name, but there we go. <laughs> you know, it's been, you know, an eventful uh, couple of months or, or year. Um, you know, started a new job, uh, which was good, uh, you know been trying to find a new job for a while so that's uh been a been a good thing but you know other than that just trying to stay safe and but still hang out with people from time to time and you know catch up and so you know that's mostly what's been going on okay i'll see here in, in the uh in the outline you have uh shang chi yeah uh i'm you know i really want to see it you know my son this is like the first movie i think that he really wants to see you know what I mean? So, and I want to see it, but I don't know. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have to figure out how we go about seeing it. You know, like what time? Maybe I'll see something like I don't know. I almost thought about like taking him out of school, and, like seeing it on like a early morning show or something like that. Um, I support this plan. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I really wish that it was on, you know, Disney Plus. Um, but it's not too late know. for them to like, you know, do I mean, better. They've already. They've already announced that it's going to be a 45 day. So I'm going to imagine that there's a contract. Somewhere. Yeah, I feel like they really can't do too much. How much do you uh, think uh, Scarlett Johansson's lawsuit has to do with any of this, if anything? I, I think it's more a yeah, theater no, thing. Like, I, I think mean, it's, I, it, I think Scarlett Johansson's lawsuit has to do with the contract that she signed years ago. Right. I right. Mean, right. Black Widow was supposed to come out last March. I think. Uh, yes. March? That, March that would have, or April well, that would have that would have been the June one because it would have been Free Comic Book Day, and then whatever the fall one would be. But it was like the original uh, release date was in the spring of 2020, I think. So yeah, that's yeah. The so I mean, Marvel in the before times did the what a June release, and then they do a November release as their yeah. as their temple because they do Free Comic Book Day, which is what the first week in June, I want to say. Uh, yeah, uh, and that's why we're getting four movies this year. <laughs> Which right, they didn't release anything last year. So it just seems to me like with the Scarlett Johansson thing that the the smart move on Disney part would have been to just renegotiate before just dumping it and then saying it's her fault. Right. Yeah, right. Well, apparently she tried, but they. I mean, I've read that she and her husband just had a baby, so I'm thinking this woman filed a lawsuit while she's pregnant. So clearly, I think she actually or her agent. Right. Probably I mean, did try, and they were just like, eh, I, we're Disney. I would imagine that Disney had lawyers look at the contract and say that, you know what, it's a pandemic. You know, there's right. some kind of like force majeure type of language that allow us to, you know, get out of some contractual stuff. And that's just the way it's going to be. I mean, maybe if they don't really have any plans to use her anymore, then they do, maybe right? they don't care, and maybe that's why there was no real incentive to try well, to like work something out ahead but, of time. But to but Ben's the multiverse, point, Mike, the multiverse. I mean, yes, there's the multiverse. But to Ben's point, there's also like how many people this goes through to get between Disney and Scarlett Johansson. Like, so for example, Dave Batista said he wasn't asked to be in this week's episode of What If, and you know you can draw from that that maybe Drax shows up in it. And like Kevin Feige came back and said we asked. I just don't know if that request ever got to you because oh, it's only God. like a like a minute scene or whatever. So like Oh like if, oh it got filtered out like it's not worth my client's time kind of right, thing. Right. Like God. like if it's if it's going through yeah, like 
all the who the the multiple production pieces like it's possible and they're like cool because apparently what was i listening i think mr sunday movies is a, a thing i should follow on youtube they're like everyone was asked but not everyone responded and it seems to be a question of like did it actually get to them because like uh what neither chris evans or brie larson are also going to be in these what ifs but both of their characters showed up or will show I'm up i'm pretty sure that so. the, the paychecks these people are getting Right. It, yeah, that, were, that's the yeah. thing. Like, it's it's like I don't think they'd be like, ha ha, no, thank you. Um, Agents said, "I'll like, get off the toilet for less than a million. You know, it's like what? <laughs> so I mean, so yeah, it's it's. I guess it's a question of who saw what and whatnot. Um, but I mean, we're also talking a uh, a billion dollar company, so you know, Disney could try harder. Uh, <laughs> well, that I mean, that's really what my point was. But their response to it did not sound to me like they're saying we we are within our rights they were more like she should shut up because she made plenty of money that's like, a typical okay, that, response that things. sounds like somebody that didn't try hard enough before just going forward that's just the way i'm looking I think at it's it the principle was like this was set up for this thing it didn't happen that way so let's right let's for understandable reasons compensation yeah. so yeah. Yeah. right right, right. but on the other hand, Mike J. Hey, Mike J. Shang Chi looks great. And I it can't does wait to good. see it. And it's I'm next what? It's like it. next Friday. I'm oh, that's going to a theater to see. No, it. I guess it's 3rd. the it's the Friday after. Yes, yeah, Friday after, right? So, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna have to figure out. I mean, like, do I go see it by myself and then take him later? Because I really want to see it. Like when it first comes out. Like weekday morning is like. Probably the best time. So school? Ah. What's school? I don't. Eh. Well, you can't. Oh, well, you know, yeah. schools are closed the Tuesday after Labor Day. But that, that means. But a lot that of people means, might be there then. That's right. The that means you're problem. not going to avoid That's the true. problem you're trying to avoid. That's true. Yeah. So like you find yeah. out you're sharing popcorn with the person next to you, and you just start freaking out, like. You know. Or I can I mean, buy. Maybe I should just buy a bubble of seats. <laughs> we could all we could also do just like a, can you still rent theaters like should we just do a game and through showing um, uh, i don't know okay if, that, if that's Let's, happening they were like the theaters around thing? here they weren't even really that expensive at, at when they first did it it was like a hundred right. bucks so that's well, because there was like nothing to watch like, there was nothing to watch so yeah, it's like yeah. it was a hundred bucks if you wanted to see the original jumanji what, uh, well, well, Park. <laughs> the the theaters near me they were basically like you pick your old movie that you want to see and there's a really good chance we can make that happen no guarantees for everything but pretty much it was like if there's a dvd or a blu-ray or something of this you can probably watch it on on our screen you know what i would ra i would rather do be like i'll rent out the movie theater and bring my xbox and just hook it up to the projector and we're just gonna play for like three hours yeah I mean, yeah. I, Motion I, sickness I, fun. I would also hey. like to see uh, Live it Free up. Guy. Uh, Free Guy. Like, I think that movie. Yeah, that looks kind of funny. Looks like dumb fun. So yeah, I will happily wait until that is available on my television screen for a few dollars. <laughs> so I mean, it's again another Disney, another Disney property. So uh, that yeah. will, oh, I that assume, is, come is Disney. Isn't it? Di now that they own Fox, it's Disney. Yeah. So, what did, uh, yeah, what did no, Fox not sell? The sports stuff. Uh, it was only Fox uh, movies that sold to them, I think. Okay. Yeah, they definitely Fox, didn't Fox get the pictures. Uh, maybe it was called. They didn't get the local Fox TV stations because yeah, they're yet. not allowed. Not yet. I mean, legal. I mean, unless they change the laws, they're not allowed to own more than one over-the-air broadcast uh, uh, company or whatever. Fox Film Studios is what they bought. Right. James says my local theater has a way to play video games on the screen. Uh, 200 feet for two hours. That They basically just have a banner hanging that says, we'll try anything. That seems expensive for two hours. Two you know, the, the local second-run I mean, garbage theater near me had a thing going where you could get their popcorn to go. But it was the regular movie theater popcorn price. Oh. Come get an eight dollar bag of popcorn from this place if you want it to survive. Could you at least get burned by the overly hot butter at the very least? Give you a memory, something. Oh yeah, like they just they say, just hold your wrist out and we'll pour some on 
because we know by the time you get it home, it won't be this it's, hot anymore. It's scalded. It's sc- anyway. Movie theater popcorn is better than regular popcorn. <laughs> It is. Well, like, okay, so so I think it's, it's the whole it's, experience. It's, it's I don't think you could separate those. Two it's also, the whole. It's better than microwave popcorn. I will 100 percent agree, but like okay. we grew up with one of those weird poppers that would rotate. Oh, I have one of those. That, yeah, I have one like, of those poppers where you like wind the thing and the. Well, like, ours had know. like a like a it would like it was probably a death trap, but like it had a <laughs> an automatic stir in the center. Glad you pop here. it over, and hey, that's the bowl now. Um, and My you put in the oils oil and that pot. kind of stuff. Well, that's like that's what I, I learned when other. I'm like, what? No one else owns a, a dumb gadget that only does one thing, but takes up a lot of room. But we did Jiffy Pop uh, that one time. But after the fire, my parents were like, no, <laughs> no. But back when Movie Pass was the thing, oh, man, and that was the time, man. When, and, and then back when I started to get mad at Movie Pass because they started that. Like you only can watch like very limited movies. Yep. I would just start to go to the Regal Theater and buy tickets for movies that I didn't want to see, and just leave the ticket on top of the machine and just leave, just to get points for like my Regal <laughs> thing. And so like I just I kept on doing that over and over again, and I got enough points to get like free popcorn. And so I would just go get like free popcorn at the movie theater, and then that's it because. My wife loves movie theater popcorn. So I'd come out, I go and I get like a big popcorn, like the huge tub. And then I just walk out of the movie theater to the car. But in that scenario, you're not walking up and handing them like 38 bucks for that giant bucket. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, movie pass, they started adding so many stipulations and it was like convenience fees and surcharges. And I had to walk away. And I I did use a Cinemia, which was the next thing that was sort of movie pass like. But then that started getting real shady you did too. The, you did the Regal Unlimited thing. I was going to say, wasn't yeah, Regal the that. next one? But that was that. like legit though. Right, right. <laughs> the other one, they legit. were. I mean, the they, other one was like every time somebody went to go see a movie, they're like, I don't understand. We're losing money now. I mean, you know, they, when, I, I felt like they were just kind of offering themselves up to AMC and Regal saying, hey, please just buy us or something, you know, but they didn't obviously. They, they were hoping it was going to be like a gym membership where everybody just pays and then just doesn't go. Oh, I went. I you, I, I went to go see that last Rambo. I, I saw everything, man. Like, yeah, I, the folly of their, their thinking is that people actually want to go to the movie theater. Yeah, I, li- I like it. Well, I, I used to. I guess I still would. I, it's been It's been a while. Oh. How many movies can come out in a year? Like 10, 12? Like, it'll be okay. Oh, For a month that I want to see. Wait, maybe. people saw hundreds of movies. I mean, now we're, there aren't that many. We're losing money. Uh, yes, you. I mean, you're right, but not right now. All right. Uh, uh, Mike J said 50 bucks you can play. Oh, he is. Mike J has like that huge 100 inch screen thing. 50 bucks, which is, yeah, I don't. $200 seems like a lot to me to rent a. I guess to rent a theater, for I mean, but I don't like, know how much that. I don't know, fifty bucks between like if we were yeah. to all play co-op Halo or whatever. See, I, I would not. That's, that's home, too big of a though. screen for me. I, I have you have you seen the prices of like kids' birthday parties these days? Like I've it's paid. Crazy. Yeah, I I've spent many years <laughs> shelling out hundreds of dollars for stuff, and I'm just like, how much? Their website said it was half that much. That was three times. Okay. No, now you're right. It, it's it, it's expensive, but yeah. So you know, I've, I've, we've done the you know roller skating party thing, the gym the gymnastic party thing. We've done the science museum party. We've done so many things. It all adds up. Anyway, uh, I mean, you also have the Eternals on here, Ben. Which yes, that, yes, you that do. trailer dropped today. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I I've been like, I, I think this trailer definitely got me hyped for it like the other ones i was kind of like they didn't show anything eh. and then now I'm like oh okay this seems interesting although i gotta say that just like the suicide squad suicide squad at least one of these eternals has to die right like <laughs> but aren't they immortal i mean they're na- they're the eternals right well <laughs> but that doesn't that doesn't mean they're invulnerable no it doesn't like they have they have long lives but they they can be killed in question in this trailer they answered, they responded to a question that we all have. It's like, why have you been here for 7,000 years or whatever have not helped anything? When Thanos was here, you did nothing. And their response was something along the lines of like, we're only supposed to step in when deviants are... Well, okay, so... Isn't Thanos a deviant? Well, no. and then... 
Thanos is not. He is a Titan. Titan. So okay, I'm I'm getting this. So computer. okay, so we'll we'll see. Like this is very comic book focused. So I don't know how this will relate to the movie, but the Eternals are so when so the Celestial shows up, and it's actually the same Celestial that shows up in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, oh yeah, and it's it's the like. Eight eyed oh, yeah, thing that's that, kind that thing of, that's something okay. that like people kind of think looks like Galactus, but it is definitely yeah, yeah. not Galactus. Not big. Uh, so that shows up. In theory, it, uh, uh, Celestials implant their egg seed, whatever you want to call it, into a planet, and then they leave something behind. They modify the uh, the the regional people to protect said egg, like give them powers to protect their planet, is this because what that's what. Too? That's what Galactus eats. So, like, when Galactus comes and destroys a planet, he's actually eating a celestial egg. Um, Because it's better than saying baby. Um, So, or another word. I don't know. So, so, uh, so, yeah. So he, so that that makes me wonder if, like, maybe this whole discussion about Kang is like a, a, a clever ploy. Like, Kang will show up, but then, like. Galactus is actually going to be the big bad of this. And like, that's how you can get mutants and the fantastic four in here. Um, because like, we need to go to the multiverse to be able to stop uh, Galactus because the 10 superheroes that live in the MCU earth aren't enough. Um, so the question was ego in the comic book, a celestial, they made him a celestial no. in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy volume two. Well, so he is a galactic being, but he's technically not a celestial. So like the celestials all hang around in that armor. They're all humanoid looking. That's why like nowhere, the space station is the head of a celestial that was killed by who they have not answered that. There are a lot of potential. It could have been Galactus. Uh, so we this, will, this sounds like a lot of uh transformers the movie was stolen from this this stuff oh yeah i mean comic books like this is this is weird jack kirby cosmic like weirdness like essentially icarus the the guy you see with the eyes like he's superman like he is another version of marvel doing superman like he can fly he has uh enhanced strength he can shoot eye beams um and but again, every all those people were put there to protect the earth, but really they're protecting they really the celestial. They did do a very earth. good job. Like there were some pretty threatening things that happened all throughout. They did nothing. <laughs> well, so there's well, there's going to be them like, seeing each other, right? They're not. Like, oh, yeah. th- that's the thing. They're not seeing each other. Like, what are they supposed to do? Like in the Thanos fight, unless they were in New York for the beginning of Infinity War. What are like? They are could they have come to Wakanda and helped out. Like, what's the like? Come on. Do you think like did they put up a giant like sign in the sky that said "Come to Wakanda"? Like, if if they don't if, signal, if like yeah, if the Avengers don't know about you, I don't think they just went on to like the TVs and said, "Hey, you should come to this nation that only kind of recently got revealed." <laughs> I guess uh, if you have superpowers, I think they could have uh, done more. Well, I mean, the same question or is like, anything. why didn't? Why didn't the Winter Guard show up? Like, why was why not have uh, another super soldier come fight in uh, if if this is all being threatened? Like the guys that are in Black Widow. Uh, yeah, and why didn't Superman come in and help? I mean, uh, always a question I get from someone. So, but like, I, I don't know. I think this Eternals looks cool. Kit Harrington finally shows up. He's gonna be the Black Knight, and I am putting money down now. He is going to join. Julie Louis Dreyfus's team of not good people or whatever. I thought Black Knight was good. Uh, I mean, he could be, but I mean, U.S. Agent is traditionally good too. Who is like, who's, who's, who's the Black Knight? So I he is he uh, usually a, yeah. he he can either have a Pegasus. Sometimes he has like a real sword that's like been cursed, but other times he's had a lightsaber or a, let's say a very look similar looking device to a like lightsaber. a guy from medieval times but he's a comic book character that but also if you go with like his 80s design he's wearing a leather jacket <laughs> over said armor that has like a black pegasus on a, a blue field uh, like the most 80s design um but he could be either the hawkeye of julia louis dreyfus i i assume she's making like a dark avengers um i thought she was building the thunderbolts I mean that could be it too. Like it, some some team to counteract 
the Avengers, I think, is what it seems like she's building. Because, like, she's also sending what's her name after Hawkeye. I guess spoilers for the end credit scene of Black Widow. Um, eh. So, uh, so yeah. So, like, well, I mean, we'll see. But, like, he could either be the Hawkeye or if they make him powerful enough, like, if at points he's been, he could rival Thor because of how cursed the blade is and that kind of stuff. So he could be the mystical that. side or he could be the, like, comic relief hand-to-hand combat guy. Second one, because we already have a Black Widow again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I th- that feels like like that's what we're introducing him so he could be whatever the fight's going to be with them later, because, like, there's definitely going to be a fight hmm. uh, with that team somewhere down the line, right? Like, that, that's probably how that's going to work. Anyway, I don't know. These look cool, and, yo, I, can't, I still can't wait for Spider-Man. That's December, and... A lot to look forward to. Yeah. All right, what's going on with these digital games, Ben? I'm like having a lot of trouble keeping track of digital games at this point. I was like, so I was, I heard about Humankind. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I do like Civ games, like I, or these 4X games. So I like play a lot of, I played a lot in the past of like Civ Six and Civ Five, and so I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And then I was thinking about buying it, but then I was like, eh. And then I real and like even toward like to the point of like yesterday, I was like clicking around the steam you know page for it and then today i was like i heard that i was like oh wait a minute it's on game pass like why did i not know that i could have been playing it for like a couple of days already and so it's just uh, there are just so many you know different you know storefronts now like the you know the couple of months ago i think you like you tweeted that hey samurai showdown anthology or collections on sale you know for like five bucks on steam or ten bucks on steam and i was like I think I owned that. And it took me like 10 minutes to figure out which storefront I owned it on. And it was like, I had gotten it off like Epic Games because it was like free or something for a period of time. And so, you know, it, it's just, I, it, it, it's gotten to the point between Game Pass, Steam, Epic Games, and I don't know, maybe GOG or, or, or wherever, just, you know, where all these games live. It's just, you know, especially if it's games that like I don't play that often or, you know, I purchase and then I kind of want to try them out, but then I forget. And so, you know, it's I'm going to get to the point where I start buying multiple copies of digital games. Mm, no, don't, don't let it happen. Games. It happens with physical stuff now. <laughs> don't, 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 Wait, yeah, starting? Don't I'm, I'm confused by that. Uh, on purpose. Also, I, we feel attacked. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, Ben, do you, have you tried the God Galaxy thing that tracks... I- I have, and it like kind of connects. And it, it's not gets, perfect. And the PlayStation 1, last I checked, it just didn't work. Yeah. Um, but and it then, helps a little bit. It's better of, than nothing. Of course, Ben knows did that because he got his free copy of The Witcher that way. Oh like yes, of course. The fifth time or what? Oh yeah, I went through all these hoops to sign in to get a game I'm not really gonna play that I have three copies of already. Right. Right. So. Money and time was spent. Well, time. Yep. I mean, that reminds me. Uh, like some years ago, I, I don't even remember what the game was, but there was something on sale on Steam for a dollar. And I stared at it, and I stared at it, and I thought, you know, it's only a dollar. But I don't think, I don't know. Am I really ever going to play this? I don't know. I don't know. And I thought about it for, like, God, what felt like at least a half an hour. And I finally was just like, oh, what the hell with it? I'm going to buy it. And it was like, it's already in your library. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, that, like, that's weird that it showed you the price then. Like, well, it yeah, was because it, I wasn't looking at it on my account. It was uh, just a list of games that were currently on sale. Got gotcha. some Steam sale that was happening at the time. Yeah, and then yeah, then you have all the different console shops and you know whatever. So the easy fix things. for that is don't buy anything. Yeah. Or just play whatever they hand you. Or just buy everything. Or just commit or to buy always everything. buying True. physical, and you're good. And when you do buy digital, make a note that you're going to still buy the physical copy so that you can sell like GameSwap later. Uh, I See, mean, who, I who would do house? that? You. <laughs> who would do? Because, I definitely... because remote play works pretty well on you know, some of these systems. I physical. I, I I lean towards digital just because I can play it when I'm not home. But I'm usually home, so I guess that's that's kind of a moot point. Forget I said anything. I'm always home anyway. I don't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere. So, Mike, what's going on with you? Which is why we all pre-ordered Steam Decks, right? Oh, I did. Well, I, see, I, I was didn't. gonna. I was. Uh, I, I did not either. 
I uh, did. Like, I pre-ordered one. I mean, I'm not shocked by that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool. Like, I, I could imagine someday wanting one, but right yeah. now, it's like, whatever. Can't I don't even know that. if it's going to be any good. It looks great. I just... I already played. I mean, the impressions from people that have had a chance to use it, I think, are all pretty positive. I, di- I didn't see like, what the Giant Bomb guys said. Um, I don't uh, know. They liked it except for the crashes that occurred, but yeah, it was still, a prototype. Yeah, it's still a prototype. Right, right. That but, button layout keeps a little, little sprucing up as well. Hey, hey Ben, where's your where's your uh, your your Steam? Uh, what did the hell? What what was the Steam box? Steam no, Link. Steam Link. Steam Link. Yeah, where's your Steam Link? I don't know. Is it? Is, it it's it's somewhere in a box, right? Like yeah, it's it's just, a, yeah, yeah. Where's your Steam controller? I don't, I don't own a Steam uh, controller. No, okay, I do own a Steam controller. Also and in a box. To be fair, I bought a Steam Link when it was eight dollars, including so, shipping. Yeah, same here. So I was not I was not an early adopter for gotcha. that. I would own a Steam controller, but it costs more to ship it than the controller, and I was like, oh, I can't justify that. So yeah. yeah, I missed out when the Steam controllers got really cheap. Otherwise, I would own one of those, and bucks. that would be in a box. It's like thirteen to ship. I'm like, nah, man, no. Nah, I, I how much do you want to spend on a controller that you're not going to like, want to use, or yeah. ever do anything with? It's Five not, bucks. Eight dollars sounds about right. It wasn't good. I think it's actually behind me. Uh, Abe Lincoln is... cried a tear as you handed it over to pay for this controller. Uh, and I bought them at full price. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Why? Hey, look. I, we, I, we're, uh, I, remember, I mean, at the next at the next game swap, we're gonna make a tower of ouyas just to like, you know, you know, <laughs> just, just, just transform uh, them together. Yeah, uh, exactly. a guest salt of ouyas. <laughs> no, I mean, I, but like the the Steam Deck's cool. It's mutating. And, like I, I, there are marked differences between the different versions of Steam Deck. Yeah, I got I, I got the mid um, the the mid tier one, which yeah. seems like the right like the right answer. Um, Is that like the one that's gig? only sixty four gigs, and then you have to do the SD card? Like that seems yeah. incredibly small. I'm worried small. about like the sp- like you need like the the best SD card ever to run things well. No, I mean it's not going to run. It's, it's going to load it into that. memory, so it's going to take a little bit to get it. All off of the yeah. Steam. Yeah, so, not yeah, so willing to pay for the NVMe, but not willing to pay for kind of like the, the etched glass. The I etched glass, was... and then like the even faster NVMe. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with an NVMe, you know, in, in there. So, I mean, if I was traveling a lot, I don't know, like it. It it could be attractive. It uh, is. I just, eh. I don't we'll see, see like people Great are launch lineup. People are looking, yes, the greatest launch lineup. But Best like people are comparing it to the Switch because it can also output to like a larger monitor and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I guess that'll be cool if you're in a hotel room. Maybe. But like otherwise, if I'm at home, like I use my Switch because that is a marketplace on it. This thing will go into a closet and I'll just use my computer. Um, when you're home, yeah. So just if I'm so. home, so. Uh, like that that's the part where it's like yeah like i mean yeah. hey it'll be cool but like you also have to talk about this is the same like concern with google stadia like valve likes to abandon projects like, that's what i'm going to got an update last year i'm going to adopt it at that point uh, 5 bucks cool. for one of these hey, i'm do in. you remember do you remember steam boxes do you remember the custom <laughs> computers that you were going to like they shipped out to testers yeah. and then never went anywhere with <laughs> They sold them though, didn't they? Or did, didn't no, they? they never brought them to market. Oh, uh, like other compa- like other people. Other said, like, other manufacturers brought some to market. Right, right? like they said, hey, this will be compatible, but they never sold it with a, like Steam OS, a a release version of Steam OS on it. Oh. I, uh, I guess I thought that they actually. No. Okay, that makes so, sense though. I mean, they do the VR piece, but like this won't support VR, or it is not suggested to support VR. Uh, I'm sure people will hook it up and then get sick. Um, so thing. like, like there's there's some cool stuff to it, and we'll see. Like I I will wait for a version two probably. Um, I mean the other thing to be concerned with is the the Proton, the uh, right right the Linux the yeah the Linux? Linux the Linux Windows emulator uh, layer that they're using to like they'll fix it. Like I, I don't know I saw the articles like oh the top ten games on Steam will play on the Steam Deck right now, and it's all because of like anti piracy stuff because it's like. Uh, Rainbow Six or Halo or the Master Chief Collection or like or uh, oh god Apex, uh, 
like it's all because of their anti-piracy. It's not because they, they can't get the game running at whatever 720p on the thing. <laughs> it's uh, physically impossible. So it's just, and they'll they'll, they'll work those things out. Dota will work on this. Oh uh, yeah, if, yeah, Dota will. Um, so now, will it be the way you want to play it? Is a hundred percent a different question, but. Uh, like I don't think it's a technology problem. It's just a question of cool. Like, will will they care about this in two years? Um, so I it know. looks like it's going to take production that time to get through the pre-orders. So I think pre-orders. Yeah, are I mean, I got in the an early wave. So I mean, I got it. I, I you know I had some some checkout issues in the very beginning because the, the store is crashing, but I got it pretty early. So. Hopefully that it's not December. Like some people got, I think a December release date. I think I got mine. It's like Q1. So we'll see. Hopefully on the earlier end of that. So if somehow, if it helps, I will go ahead and pre-order one right now and then immediately cancel it. Maybe that'll bump you up the list somehow, even though that makes no well, sense at all. It works like that, but <laughs> you go ahead and give it a try. And I'm going to take up smoking and quit to save money. Sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. All right, Mike, what have you been up to? So uh, just uh, just like a few things that um, I, I've, I've taken a look at recently. Uh, I, I obviously mentioned, I mean, even earlier in the show, uh, Transformers the movie. Have not watched that in a great many years, despite now owning currently four different physical versions of it and at least one other version on VHS that I don't own anymore because I didn't think I'd ever need it again. And then I gave it away. And then the person I gave it to his house burned down. So that doesn't exist anymore. Um, but anyway, so I, I, I watched it for the, so I like, I, I went back and looked because so the 4k uh, like remaster or whatever of the original prints uh, just came out on physical format, which I grabbed and I thought, well, whatever, I'll finally take a look at it. And then I put it in and I'm like, you know what? One thing I've never looked at is the, um, the, uh, the, the commentary that they've recorded. And as it turns out, this is the commentary that was recorded for the 20th anniversary version, which is 15 years ago. And I still have that DVD going. That feels like the new one. Oh no, it's not the, Blu-ray version for the 30th anniversary, which is five years ago, which I'm holding in my hand now. I, I I never did anything with this. It's just it's just here. Here it is, and it's steel bookcase, two discs, and everything. It even had a digital copy which expired 2017. So I never Never got anything uh, out of that, but you know, sure whatever. Expired? Have you tried? Uh, I have not tried it. It just what, says it expired. What service is it on? Let's start with uh, that. Uh, it. Movies anywhere? Oh, uh, that that might still work. Uh, yeah, the movies anywhere. Okay, yeah, that yeah. I don't know. They're still a thing. Sure, so. I don't know. Well, the only one that I was sure, like Microsoft, generally does not expire codes when they say Sony. 100 <laughs> percent if it says oh, it's expired yeah, it's right wrong. um but uh anyway so i so i'm i'm listening to it and i'm like you know it, it's susan blue it's nelson shin who was the director of the animation and uh the the other guy's name i don't remember that looking it up but he was like the showrunner um and and like wrote a lot of the movie and i was like they said a number of things that i'm like i know that that's wrong why I mean, granted, some of the stuff was like, oh, uh, so RC, the first appearance of a female Transformer. Well, it wasn't, but I know it may have been written first because they wrote the movie like while season two was was actually in production. So I don't I don't know, like what was written first. But yeah, Alita one and her bunch were, were definitely like in the show before the movie. So anyway, just some things. But like they're, they're talking to me like, yeah, this commentary is from 15 years ago. And it like. I don't know. They just and they just do that because like, why are they going to re-record comment? Like most movies now, like when DVDs first came out, it was like, oh my god, I got to like watch the movie and then the commentary for everything, everything I rent, everything I own, blah blah blah. I haven't cared about that in years. 
Um, but it was a neat way to look at the animation again and get some new content out of it. And it was, it was fine. It was fine. I feel like the movie's better if you just watch it and enjoy the soundtrack. And but like the Blu-ray transfer, like that much better than like the DVD, like were they able to actually make it, you know what well, I mean? Well, okay. Do Did you, they bring do it you want me to get into some of the nitty gritty? Um, uh, of course. So the 4K physical disc that's available right now is a pretty bare bones thing. It's just the widescreen version of the of the movie. Whereas, say, the Blu-ray movie that came out five years ago has the full screen and the widescreen version. Now you'd say, why in the world would you want the full screen version? That's actually the format that it was in the theater as. Um, four by three is the format for the movie. So the widescreen is cropped then. The widescreen is cropped. Um, so it's like, really? it's Why? kind of less desirable. Now, granted, for the most part, it doesn't mean much of anything. But as someone who followed this stuff with great detail before the DVDs were ever released, there was a lot of, I remember when I was a kid and I could definitely see in the one corner of the screen in the theater, so-and-so dead body in this one scene and and then they could finally like say yay or nay. It's like oh my god, yes, Wheeljack's head is there. He died. He is dead. You can't just say maybe he's just in the background for season three. Maybe like he's that. sleeping. Maybe he took <laughs> he took a long dirt nap. Um, but anyway, it, it was to cut why to the would, chase. It was it why was. Why would you was release fine. a four by three movie in? Like I guess I need to go look. But like, movie. well, and, and the and the other thing that that's actually really really nuts about it is you can go back and it's all on YouTube. Go look up the, the ads for the theatrical release. And in, in the commercial, the, you know, the television commercials, they said spectacular widescreen animation. That was not widescreen at all. Um, I guess it depends at that time what, what their interpretation of widescreen was, but it's no, it was, it was television format essentially because it translated to the small screen very easily, which they, put out as a five part mini series um the um you know the the movie in uh in a monday through friday format which is the first time i ever saw it i didn't see it in the theater as a kid my parents were like pg are you kidding me you can't see that <laughs> parental guidance that's your mouth right okay. well nowadays pg means something completely different yes it does then it you know you could have I mean, f-bombs in pg movies back then well <laughs> Can you can you go back to the Monday to Friday? Like, because for a second I was like, wait, is this a censor? Like, is this? Oh no no, I just like, like what when, they do for Die Hard. No, like, when when it when it when they chopped it up into five episodes of the show, oh, okay. it ran as a it would start on Monday and then Friday would be the last episode. Like they 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 ran it. I don't know three four five times probably in in the run. Um, but that's the only way I ever saw it. Obviously, it was slightly edited and. You know, gotcha. I just but no, I mean, it really like, like going back, like the way movies are were rated. The original Planet of the Apes is rated G. Like, release that exact movie today, it's probably PG thirteen. Just like, just hand it over to the ratings board and just say, hey, what, what are you, what are you going to give well, it? You right? Because wasn't wasn't Indiana one of the Indiana Jones movies the first PG thirteen movie? Oh, Temple of Doom, I think, is what pushed. The well, NBA yeah, PG to right. Make Temple of Doom thirteen. I think it was, was PG, Gremlins, right. and then Temple of Doom was like, yep, yeah, we got to do something. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, different different times, but um, anyway, there you go. It's it's uh, it's very crisp, as crisp as they can make it. Until the next say- format. It's we, not per, no. I mean, there's you, you'll they'll have to, to clean up some of the scenes which are which were naturally blurry. They'd have to do some like AI upscaling something or another, which would just right be fake. Yeah, yeah. But so um, you would say you have the touch. Sure, except for when you're watching the commentary, you don't hear any <laughs> of that stuff. At least not much of it. Um. I just, anyway, I was hoping you were going to say the commentary was. So we killed off that one. So we just canceled the toy. We killed well, that yeah, one. Well, it, was, it really was a lot of that. Like, we didn't think we were going to make kids cry. We just were trying to introduce new toys and burn old ones in a fire. Like, <laughs> they could have had people be lost or something. They have to kill them. I mean, come on. I don't know. Well, uh, well, all right. So, oh, my God. There's so many, like, little tidbits that I, it's, like, rattling around in my brain. But 
they they wrote the the G.I. Joe movie first, right. but they wound up because of scheduling, whatever, they wound up filming and releasing the Transformers movie first. But in the original script for G.I. Joe, they decided let's kill Duke because, hey, look, A, same exact reason. We need to, you know, usher in new toys and get rid of the old ones. But, hey, they're fighting a war. Like, people die in war. Like, they never it's died not... in the TV show, so... I... Yeah, like, we, we finally have to have somebody die after seven trillion bullets were fired. Um, so it, it was just like, oh, it's a, it's a novel idea. This could be, like, very, like, edgy, but, like, realistic and, you know, so on, so on. So then when Hasbro or Sunbow or whoever... Uh, whoever was like in charge of it, uh, like got wind of it. They were like, you know what? We should do the same thing with Optimus Prime, and and they wound up doing it first. And the backlash was kind of huge as far as you know the kids' reaction, all that stuff. So when the GI Joe movie came out, the scene is still in the movie exactly like they filmed it. It's just at the end of the movie, they they all go, "Hey, everybody, Duke's gonna be okay." <laughs> so well, so like. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna parallel this. Have you all seen the Sly, St- Sly, uh, Sly Stallone Judge Dredd movie? Yeah. Do you remember how? It. It's uh, terrible. What? Uh, Rob Leg was on. Uh, Rob, Rob, Leg- Rob, Rob Schneider. Schneider. Rob Schneider. No, Rob Schneider. You're right. He's in that Rob movie. Leg was on. A- <laughs> <laughs> it was in my head. Rob Schneider's in that movie, and like he's supposed to die in that movie. But he's the comic they, relief, though. They rewrote it. So that he doesn't. So at the end, he gets like carried out on a stretcher, but no one acknowledges him. <laughs> <laughs> I should look at that scene again. So I'm, it's, I'm not gonna watch the whole movie, but yeah. But like, if you probably if you go back YouTube, and watch that, right? yeah, it's it's a like no one acknowledges him, and you're like, oh, it, it sounds a lot like this. Um, but I also find it funny because, and I guess uh, you know, another spoilers for the GI Joe movies, uh, they then go and kill Duke off. <laughs> In the live action movie, oh, the, li- the yeah. second one, oh, uh, yeah. and but Robin then, Wayne's care everybody they kill. I don't, I don't, I don't remember anything about uh, those movies. I, I rewatched the first live action one because it's on, I think HBO. I, I do want to. Uh, I, I did want to see Snake Eyes. I want to too. I would love them to bring it to anything I'm willing to watch it on. Yeah, uh, I, I, that, so, that I'm not willing to go to a movie theater for. It, I, I didn't. Hmm. I don't know why they made it. Like Snake Eyes is such a cool character. I feel like what I've heard about, it, I was like, why did they make this movie? I don't even. They need. It'll, a it'll be available third, soon. They need a third GI Joe origin story. Did they though? So no, probably not. But I haven't seen it, so like I'm not gonna say that definitively. Oh, is this one uh, of those cases where they they had to like make a movie or lose the rights, kind of a thing? Oh, that you might, would honestly, think that's that what it was, it. honestly. <laughs> so. Uh, like, just, we do have know, toys I just to sell, Snake Eyes with, with Nicolas Cage and call it a day. Like, <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> the, the same idea with how they went back to reshoot or like the, to change that Duke didn't die. They also like they tested the second GI Joe movie, the second live action one, mm-hmm. and they, people were like, "We miss Channing Tatum." So they went back and shot a bunch of. The Rock and Channing Tatum hanging out scenes. Yep, I heard about that to make it uh, seem plausible. To make that it like they knew each other, right? <laughs> so yeah. it just seems like uh, you know they has Hasbro Pictures repeating the past. Well, you so. know, Game Vet asked a good question. He said, "Where do they go after Snake Eyes?" He is the coolest character, so I don't know what I uh, Avalanche Shadow Snake Eyes too. I don't remember a lot of Deep Six. Barbecue, like, just barbecue just, and stuff. Just, uh, Doc, um, or the other medic that gets a solid gold helicopter from his girlfriend. Or what about? Here's the one thing that I think a lot of people forget about GI Joe. What about the GI Joes that after the first season go and live in an alternate dimension? I don't remember this <laughs> because they wanted to. No, nope. refra- this was how they avoided the Transformers thing. They all go and live on a farm in another dimension <laughs> of state instead of killing them off. Uh, this, what? So, like, yeah, no one remembers that. I, when GI Joe first came to like Netflix or whatever, the, the cartoon, I watched a good chunk of it and I was like, I don't remember this. Like, they cross dimensions and some of them then decide to stay behind. And so I went and looked up and like, oh, yep, those were all the toys they wanted to refresh after wave one. Yep. So. Yep. So, oh man, uh, Aaron, what have you been up to, bro? 
Uh, let's see. I had a chance to try the Lay's potato chips that have Cool Ranch Dorito seasoning on them, and they're quite good. So they're potato chips with Cool Ranch seasoning yep, on them? Yeah, it all worked out. Gotcha. And uh, Mike, I know you were just as excited as I was. <laughs> it it was food. It was food. And we ha- actually uh, tried them for the first time at Mike's home. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it, it was fun hanging out. I, I brought the family over. Well, not everybody, but, you know, the three out of the five of us came over and other people came over. You all were there. And we did. Address like, uh... be, the address will be in the show notes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Stop on by. He's happy to entertain you. Exactly. He's still so... grilling, you know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Well, yeah. No, nah, um, yeah. Well, we, thanks for coming over. No, nah, but thank you for having us. We, we had yes, a good time. thank you for having us. I wish we didn't have to leave when we did because I was in the middle of an anecdote and I just stopped in the middle of it and got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems weird just in hindsight. Started walking. <laughs> I mean, we uh, we ended up playing Cards Against Humanity, which that was the first time I played that game since Ooh. maybe like Magfest, whatever and a half. It's been yeah, a while. it's been a, it's it is, been a while. I thought maybe yes. the people who ran that company kind of put a sour taste in everybody's mouth while playing it. But well, you know, I put it. it you I put it this it way. I mean, the, yeah, the cards still exist. I don't like me burning them. Saves no one. It doesn't. <laughs> You're not giving them any more money, but right. Yeah. So what? The, yeah. the, the second I left, the card game comes out. Is that how this works? Or oh, Aaron's gone. All right. It's, Let's get the yes, miniatures and the now cards. It's, now it's He's time gone. to secretly play board games now. <laughs> get yeah. those dice. Yeah, those He's gone. The board games. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, you can't really deny the fact that it's just like, all right, children are no longer here. <laughs> like, this is, yeah, this, I, is, I this, this Aaron, is a thing. Speaking of board games, Aaron, did you see that? I didn't know it existed. Was it that arcade one up cocktail? Oh, the unlimited game? one. Yeah, the unlimited games. Oh, the ta- the infinity table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Infinity that's it. Table. Yeah. Two different versions. One very expensive and one extremely expensive. Yeah, it's like a twenty four inch and a thirty two inch. I've heard of it. They, I yeah. When are they sending you one, Air? Uh, they're not. Like, they are not. I don't have that kind of pull. Not yet. Like, do you want to spend seven to nine hundred dollars or so on something that can play Monopoly? Of Aaron money and or, life? or Mike money? I'll spend that much of Mike money. I mean, not Aaron money. That is significantly better than what the old Microsoft, the original Microsoft Surface is. Surface cost. Oh yeah. Because I looked to have one put in my office at one point. I think they were like ten grand, weren't they? Started at like ten, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and like it's just from a below complete, ten thousand. They've been using that name for a while. Like, oh know, yeah, like yeah. the only time I ever saw one in the wild, other than like Microsoft Store, uh, there was a casino in AC. That had a bar that just like that's how you'd select music at every table. Um, you could put your phone down, and I, I think like you still had to plug in because it wasn't like near field technology. Like we weren't using that at that point. Uh, but yeah, like yo, those surfaces were crazy. Yeah, they were. Uh, I forgot those things so. existed. Oh, it's funny, you know, Mike. When we got home, or maybe I was on the way back home, my wife was uh, exclaiming just how she was very impressed with the arcade. As was I. I know you've been talking about it, but it's different when you see everything you have in there. It's really awesome, man. Like I was, I, I didn't really want to go home. I, I appreciate <laughs> you saying so. As, as I, I kept saying, it's, it's a work in progress, and I, I mean, I hope aside, to make it more. I was impressed. I was aside very impressed. from your juvenile gambling. I thought it was very nice to. <laughs> <So. laughs> <laughs> My, my my son enjoyed the slot machine. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so jackpot but, champion. No, like I mean, yeah, especially like you had the the video monitor going. You have the lights, the pinball uh, thing. Yo, the the, 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 the pinball, yeah. and then the 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 pong. Uh, we play warlords. I haven't played warlords in with a paddle, and I don't, I can't remember the last time I played warlords. It's a fun game. Even on Atari, it's, it's it really it's, is. It's, a, it's one of the better I Atari twenty six. I still games. have my paddles and an Atari and Warlords, but it, none of it works anymore. But it, it's still even even today. It's kind of rare to do four person. It was what awesome. they call couch co op or, or couch competitive or whatever now. But it's like you're 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 huddling around each other. Like it's there's something to the the position you have to be in to play the game that that adds some tension to the to the game itself it's not like you're just chilling on a couch like head surrounded by 18 right, pillows right, right. and 
staring at the sun and and uh, holding a controller up in the air or whatever. But it's like now you're, it's 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 a lot like that uh, that commercial for the Crossfire board game, where the where the two guys like are super intense and then one basically explodes in a yeah, fireball I was in the background. Like, did that kid die? Like when his parents oh, yeah. came to pick oh, him yeah, up, he's the dead. Is like, well, well, where's he's Greg? Absolutely well, dead. He's gone. <laughs> Greg is I mean, dead. he he you, rode to the tournament of of death on a uh, he a just flaming hoverboard like or whatever. Just, <laughs> All the kids Cross are like, fire. "All right, okay, I get his Cross pizza." Fire. Oh Cross man, now fire. you have that. right, yeah, exactly. You have that theme song stuck in my head. Yeah, See so, now, I may just have to. I mean, know, have a Crossfire game going too. That's uh, that's better go. than uh, the the Game Boy commercial where you're randomly fighting a robot with Tetris that I think has a link cable in its head. Uh, it just finger guns everything to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. The non-violent that was like the uh, original Nintendo. that I can like, remember. Yeah, Game Boy yeah, commercial. The first Game Boy commercial. It's like it's, it's almost like they. It's like that. Remember the the desert set from the awful Virtual Boy commercial. It's like the same yes. set, the same desert. Yes. The the one <laughs> where the Virtual red. Boys are hunting you, <laughs> Terminator oh. style. They're like wrapping like, you up with the they, controller the red, wire, the red forcing color, you to that. play the it, game. It's all red. They walk on the stand, <laughs> so like they treat the stand like they're le- like, and but they're all like War of the World sized Virtual Boys. I don't think oh. realize what the message that that sent. Like we're gonna force you to play this and blind you. That You're gonna go blind. That's so basically, be- it's don't nuke the Virtual Boys. They're just going to die on their own right because they can't survive in this environment. Uh, well, we're all dead, so whatever happens, happens. Oh, uh, Game Vid did ask a question about um, did anybody ever try the chicken and waffles flavored Lay's chips that came out? I did not. I, I remember that was still like two years ago where they yeah. did like the like seven different flavors. I remember yeah, they did like the boat on them or something. Yep. God, yeah. if I did try it, I don't, I don't have a clue what it tasted like. Yeah, but game that I will say the uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, the other thing Change that I life. tried. I tried the Donnie's uh, not pork rind mushroom. Oh, yeah. They were pretty good. Like I ate them on the way home. Yeah, uh, there was, there was. Uh, an interesting alternative. Well, when you all were talking about it, the bag was empty, so I was like, "Oh, well, okay, maybe next time." <laughs> well, there wasn't. There was more than one bag. I was not aware of that. Ah, it was on the side. See, card. Mike, that's why I left to go home. I went to go get my own. I was like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna tell me about these uh, these pork rind mushrooms and eat them all, and I'm gone. I'm out. So, and uh, it's funny. And thank Mike, you, Donnie, for the pork rind mushrooms. Pork rind mushrooms and pretzels. And I guess the last thing I'll just say is uh, playing the pinball at your house. I came home and was like, I want to play some pinball games. So I loaded up Pinball FX3 and hit the X button to import my tables. And it kept giving me an error message. So I'm looking it up online, like do this, do that. Ultimately, I actually just emailed Zen Studios today. They got back to me within an hour and then said, hey, you can either take screenshots of like all the stuff you bought from you know, on your Xbox. If I look at my original, my original Xbox Live account, you it doesn't even show me my purchases anymore. It's like nothing oh, there. It, it's like FX two table tables. Yep. Or uh, FX one or the first. So one. that that like inner because I never bought any of that stuff. That integrates like if you bought FX two tables, they play on FX three. Oh yeah. So with, sort so, of like Rock Band music. Yeah. But they, I mean, like I said, within an hour. So I just went in. I, I couldn't. I went on my browser. I went and look at my purchase history for both of my Xbox accounts. Like my original one, you know, I had since, you know, the 360 came out. But no details loaded in of my purchases, which was weird. I mean, like none. Not even for that game. Like literally none. So I just went on to the Xbox. And when I searched for Pinball FX 2 in the store yesterday, it didn't show up. Today, it showed up. So I launched. I launched it. Took a uh, screen cap of all the tables in the game. Sent emailed that they sent me a link for each one, and a code to redeem embedded into the link. I was like, "Wow, oh, this is cool. this is customer service." Like, yeah. can you send me that screenshot really quick? <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy any of the tables, Ben, or no, you didn't buy? It? No, I didn't. I bought a bunch of them. Apparently, I bought a I bunch mean, of them. If they were free on like, say, I bought a bunch or of those. So I bought maybe, probably, I bought maybe like I 12 of them. There's like 90 of them. There's a, there's a, a lot. portal one. There's like a Bob's Burgers. There's an Archer <sighs> yeah. family guy. There's a lot of them. Yeah. So, yeah. 
That happened. And unfortunately, also this happened. Uh, Sonny Chiba passed away. He was 82, I believe. What's he 82? Uh, I thought that's what the article said. Yeah, the original Street Fighter. So, yeah. So, from COVID. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But, yeah. And now that I've ended on that, that sour note, I'm like, Tiny, what have you been up to? <laughs> follow that. Man, uh, yeah. Uh, follow that. Uh, uh, I had a first date last night. Okay. Uh, which, I don't know. In person? In person. In person. Mm. Wow. First date I've gone on in, uh, poof, 15, uh, what, I stopped seeing Julia in, like, end of April last year. So, 14 months. Uh, okay. So, I mean, that went well. Uh, she likes board games. So, I you listen I, to the podcast? And probably, I, know, I, <laughs> I know I have it listed uh, at, at places. So, I guess we'll see. But, but you just uh, put podcast, not video game podcast or board, video game, board game, just podcast. So, so, uh, so Tiny, do you love board games now? Uh, no. Uh, I, I still do not. Uh, For now. So, but... <laughs> Remember, we, Tiny, I didn't what? either. Remember? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention this. Me and your wife had this discussion at the gathering over the weekend. You like, spoke hey, to my wife without me standing there? How do dare remember, <laughs> Do you remember three years ago when Aaron wasn't into any of these board games? That's crazy, right? So, and now look at your background. Uh, so, so, uh, so yeah. Anyway, we were, t- and then also you have board game East. Um, what? Where is the other? Where is the uh, secondhand Calyx that you purchased? <laughs> okay, it's like when you go up to the second floor. <laughs> it's it's like a landing area that we put it up there like horizontally. Gotcha. There's not so there's no as, games in it yet. In, yeah. in 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 the in the Whalen household, like my dad, my my dad, <laughs> when my dad took one of the one of our childhood rooms and made it his office, that became his office west or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's we, the yeah, West Wing, so. exactly. So uh, <laughs> so anyway, yes, uh, board games East. Um, but no, like I, hey, we're very. I'm very happy that you were very passionate about it. Uh, I people just, can you know, change. I'm telling you, went through my change. board game phase a long time ago. Um, that doesn't stop me from buying. I'm wondering where that Batman board game is now that we talk about this. Um, I got to do that Shovel Knight um, unboxing. No. I think it's huge. Uh, but yeah, so so when I date, had fun. We, we we're we're both interested to doing a second one, so we'll we'll figure that out. I was actually thinking uh, Shang Chi. Um, so we'll see because I'm not going to wait the 45 days until it comes to Disney Plus or whatever. Uh, I will I will risk uh, a. a no <laughs> risk death. Just well, this no, movie. like it's not death. He says, also, you, honey, anything. It's not death. Also, <laughs> we're all gonna get booster shots, so whatever. We uh, probably they, should. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna be getting a booster shot before this movie comes out. I'm well, pretty no, sure yeah. of that. What's well, that till September 20th? Or right, something? and and well, the, it's supposed to be eight months after your eight months. So that was the other thing months. that I I, I um, heard on my the, the local news said. They, had, they interviewed some guy who was not a doctor, <laughs> and he said, oh, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> if you like, get the what? booster shot prior to the eight months, it actually reduces the efficiency of the current shots that you had prior to that one. Okay, so I got I mine in March, true. my late yeah, March. March is when I got my second. I'm talking, okay. what, November? November, December. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I also heard, so they're only talking about Moderna and Pfizer because they're still waiting on more detail on the J&J. Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, but that's also coming. And that's fine, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, so, the big thing is, like, we're not talking about like, like, zero we'll be, protection versus any. This right, is like, just... we'll be fine. Like, if, yeah. if we wear a master in the movie, that'll work, too. Like, if, anyway, we'll see. Well, we did dinner last night. It was a relatively spacious, but it also rained, so that's why we didn't sit outside. Like, that wasn't gonna, like, it got super muggy afterwards, too. So I was I happy like to be inside. Like humidity in the date. Uh, so, so yeah. So we'll see about that part. Um, and if you know, she were to listen to this, hey, I guess we'll talk about Shang Chi at some point. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and this is going to be a real weird spin to the the other thing I was going to mention. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, let's say, the hullabaloo about uh, OnlyFans today. 
on Twitter. Yeah, it's almost what? like they're Hines following coming out saying we're not going to make we're not we're not selling ketchup like, anymore. They're, they're following. <laughs> uh, we're, out, we're out of the condiment game. Like what was it, it's not it wasn't Reddit. Uh, it was uh, Tumblr. When Tumblr's like we're going to get rid of all adult content and like lost ninety percent of their traffic. Tumblr died. Uh, uh, OnlyFans starting in what is it September? No, November, October, October. Will start banning adult. Uh, That's their whole business. Essentially, adult content. Yeah, like adult explicit content. And like, how do you not know what your business model is? And they're doing it because they have investors lined up. Right. So it's like you. I don't know. Is it? It's like a bird in the it's... hand beats two in the bush kind of thing. Like no pun intended. But like. <laughs> I don't get it. How like, it makes no sense. It's it's hurting people that like help them build their their to to their success here, and like it's just I, anyway, we'll see if they turn back on it or not. But like it's that is craziness. What I want to know gonna, what investors are like. Yeah, you'll be good for something that's not this. We'll give so, you money for. It. I I don't get it. I, I guess in some of the stuff I haven't seen, they'll have to define what explicit content means. Um, so uh, does that, does that, like uh, I have, does I have friends that do like or... lewds and whatnot. Like it's not, they're not fully nude. They, there is a, Oh, I thought you said lewds. Oh no, that's what it is. Yeah. They're called oh. lewds. It's, it's like quay lewds. <laughs> no, not uh, quay lewds. Yeah. L-E-W-D. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I mean, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, no, I'm not upset that my <laughs> I don't actually have any. I don't have any subscriptions. I now, just, I will whatever double- they decide to do, but my like, life will be completely right, unaffected. It's, <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird thing to have this change and like just kind of ignore the whole industry that like saved, like essentially built your you that you built the back of this whole solution. It wouldn't be on. the first time a company did uh, this. So, yeah. Understood. I mean, it's an interesting case study, but. As I say, from my perspective, it's sort of like the Nelson point and ha ha, and then I've forgotten all about it. So it's like, like it's, that was dumb, but it, oh but well. It's, it's, it's gonna really gonna do that. It seems like that's a really good opportunity for somebody to come in and be like, okay, well, if you all and make and make a bad, yeah, like, right, and, and we'll replace them. Just fine. And we'll see, like, lonely we'll see. fans. <laughs> <laughs> like you'll like, I mean, lonely there are, fans. There are people we know, like cosplayers and, and other people. That like have this on there, and I don't know if their content, how they their content would be rated. So, um, no more NMF content for you. Need to stick to her ASMR. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, yo, know, if you want to have ASMR stuff, just go to YouTube. Yep, there is a yeah, ton of them. A lot of it there. From so, what I heard. Uh, I, I, hey, oh, I listen to ASMR every once in a while to go to sleep, and then other times it's like, cool, I'm on a pirate ship. Um, <laughs> so, so. Just doesn't, this just is Sony's decided video games are profitable. Like, you know what I mean? We're getting this out of this thing. Sony decided they're only going to publish RTSs going forward. That's their <laughs> real time strategy, is the only genre they care about. Um, Microsoft, only making Halo uh, games, Halo RTS games. That's it. <laughs> Right, like that's that's the part. Like they're yeah, they're anyway. It's weird. I'm sure there's more um, too. I'm I'm assuming that somebody made them an offer to say, hey, you could be a viable alternative for X, but you got to you know we can't, we don't see you making that much money. We're not going to invest in you. Exactly. Gonna, yeah. Well, that, yeah, so, I think I think it's more yeah, we're not going to invest in you because you potentially are. I mean, it's the same idea as when you looked at like how YouTube ads have changed. Like if anyone is anywhere slightly potentially crossing a line, they're like, nope, you're you're demonetized. Um, and uh, depending on who their investors were, they might have felt ninety percent of their content was should be demonetized. Um, it, it'll be so. interesting to say the least. It'll be revealed. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, oh, uh, the last thing I mentioned, I saw this uh, just actually a couple minutes ago. Dominique Thorne will be playing Riri Williams yes. in the Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. I didn't know uh, she was going to be in that movie at all. So. I didn't know because she's supposed to. She's getting her own. So this is Ironheart. Um, mm-hmm the character from Marvel. She's getting her own Disney Plus series. So I'm wondering if this is supposed to be a prequel. Uh, we'll see how this all, again, the the tapestry that is the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, uh, but I will finish this, this. We were talking about this before the show, I think. I don't remember if it was captured. But yo, go check out the second episode of What If. Like, it's real good. Uh, there's a dedication to Chadwick Boseman at the end. Uh, just like one of the last things he did. Uh, and 
uh, him as Star Lord and, and what goes on and how we how the character changes the minds of some characters, I think you'll uh, you'll really enjoy. Uh, there are, there are people that show up. You're like, oh, interesting. Yeah, the girls were watching uh, Black Panther the other day, and I, I haven't looked at it in quite some time. And I just I don't know. That still makes me so sad. Just to, but I, I still love the movie. It just I got to warn me. I wasn't ready. Uh, interesting. All right. And yeah, Game Vet says, "What if really surprised me?" Good. I look forward yeah. to, to checking I, it out. Yeah. So. I will not ruin anything. I look forward to forgetting that it's on. All right. And then, <laughs> well, I will tweet. I will tweet at least once about it every week for the next four yeah, weeks. That'll or be my reminder to go uh, to go watch it. So, and then we will see what like is, in theory it's supposed to also be, somehow tie into Doctor Strange. Um, so, like Captain Carter is rumored to be in the second Doctor Strange movie. Uh, what that means, we'll find out. Scarlett Johansson so. playing herself, signing a contract, is apparently in Doctor Strange too. Uh, <laughs> it's the whole thing. It's the so, whole thing. Uh, I, I, I guess I'll mention one more show. Uh, Star Trek Below Decks also started back up, uh, which is the animated version of Star Trek. Which, like this first episode, very Rick and Morty. But yo, what happened if it was in a Star Trek universe? But they also reference like an original series episode where one of the Enterprise crew gets absorbed with strange energy that makes him like godlike, and the way Kirk kills him is like putting a boulder on him. Uh, so it's never mind. Go ahead. Oh no! Like there, there should be a lot of questions from that statement. Like it, there are. So uh, anyway, you should you should check it out if you have access to so what Paramount Plus. I think is what that's and called. And I do now. have that. I should check so, that out. Uh, I, I enjoy the Star Trek content. So anyway, we should go on to games we're playing. Yeah, Ben. What board All right. games are you uh, <laughs> So I borrowed a couple of games from from Tiny uh, when we last met. Um, one was just to get Spider Man remastered so I could update my PS4 to the most recent version of Spider Man remastered or of Spider Man, then upload my PS4 save and then download it on my PS5. For Spider-Man Remastered, so yeah, still not right. as convoluted as the Final Fantasy remake process, uh, right? Which you can only do like you have to do individually or something like that. Yep, I did hear that Ghost of Tsushima, they 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 fixed that and it made it a lot more seamless uh, for for the director's cut, which is good. Um, so did that. And then promptly decided not to play it and played Assassin's Creed Valhalla <laughs> and put Doing it like, right, though. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to. See you want to be a Viking? You know what I, mean? I don't know. I just was like, I don't know. For some reason, something about the Assassin's Creed games I, I kind of like, but I don't know. I, I so I played. So I probably put in like ten hours into this game oh, wow. into Valhalla before realizing like if I want to play like an open world game. You know what I mean? Where I'm just like, you know, going around doing quests. I should go back to Spider-Man Remastered and play like the DLC, <laughs> which I never played. So, so, but I only figured that out like yesterday. And so, yeah, so I think I, I put Valhalla to the side and went back to Spider-Man Remastered and started to, so I'm starting my way through like some of the DLC. But the problem now is like, I really, really suck at the game because I do not remember Having to grow. any of like the combos and you see, you that's know. that's the thing is is no matter which way you approach it, ultimately, the quickest way of getting to where you want to be and being able to do it is to just start a brand new game, <laughs> and yeah. don't worry about your old save. Relearn yeah. everything. I know. So you I said mean, quick, I'm just like, right? sorry. Oh, just delete the game. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, Got yeah, it. yeah. That, that's quick. So I yeah. So I probably spent like ten minutes like going through like the moves list. And be like, oh, okay, this is what you can do, and this, you know, and so now, and then, and then I had to bump. I already was playing it on like not the super easiest level, but the one notch, you know, like what, what, I think it was like friend. I can't remember what the easiest level is. So I was playing it one notch above the easiest level, friendly, and then I just fully bumped it down to the easiest level where you can't even get knocked out because I was like, you know what, it's going to take me too long to figure out how to become halfway decent at this game again. So I just want to play through like the story. So I'm starting through like the DLC stuff. So this so. this is the Black Hat DLC, right? Yeah, yeah, the Black okay. Hat DLC. Maybe so. one day in the future they'll they'll be like you know 
hard, normal, easy, super easy, and then just the YouTube mode where you just watch the game. <laughs> right. You put right. the controller down. Here's here's our partnered YouTuber, and they're going to play right. this game. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> it'll it'll have somebody live join in and say, "Oh, oh, you want me to? All right, I'll play the game for you. Okay. Isn't that what? What Stadia do you want me to do? Who do you want me to of? punch? Isn't that what they kind of sold Stadia on? You could there, there is a feature on Stadia that's like, I mean, something like yeah. That. So. Um, I did find out what the, the Spider Man that you sold me is. I let somebody borrow it. I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> completely <laughs> forgot. Looking forward in vain. Yeah. Sorry, um, you were saying. So something. you know, I'll, I'll go back and finish that the DLC, um, and then also started playing a little bit of Humankind. Um, you know, the new 4X game. You know, if you like games like Civ, um, you know, it, it does some things a little bit differently. You're not. You don't. You know, unlike Civ, where you start as a specific civilization historical civilization that has certain perks you start in this game as i don't know in the neolithic era as basically like barbarians and you choose which kind of civilization to become as you proceed through the era so um you know interesting i haven't spent a lot of time in it um you know it the, the, the biggest challenge about these types of games is quite frankly, understanding all the systems, um, you know, whether it's like religion and what technology trees and things like that. So, you know, I'll, I'll you know, it's, it seems pretty interesting. Um, you know, I, although I do, I do like Civ 6 a lot. So, um, but, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's new and it's on Game Pass, uh, which is good because I almost bought it. Um, and so it was nice that I didn't have to buy it. Um, you know, other games, 12 Minutes came out on Game Pass. Um, and I've put in a little bit of time there. Um, you know, pretty interesting so far. You know, I remember seeing the, um, I think it was, was it E3 where they put like a clip on it, uh, a clip of it out. An apartment or something, it, yes. an overhead view. Yeah, it's, it's a like... top down. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's got, it's, it's, it's got, you know, really good dialogue, um, you know, music, you know, it, it's, it's, I, I enjoy it so far. So, um, uh, you know, so I'm looking forward. Uh, hopefully it's not like a really long playthrough. Um, 12 so. minutes. I heard it takes 12 minutes to play through it. <laughs> well, but like, wasn't the, the second preview they also came back and showed like the, the voice cast? Like, it's Daisy Ridley and James, James McAvoy, McAvoy and yeah. Will, William, uh, Willem Dafoe. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because yeah, it's, it's they must Annapurna. Have... Annapurna. Oh, okay. So, uh, like, uh, but it's, like... it's it's pretty cool so far. I, I, I'm enjoying it. Like, it's, it's you know, it, it's it's this kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to, the best way to describe it. Except, you know, Groundhog Day, your day keeps repeating, but you find out more information as you're going through it, and it's kind of a, it's a suspenseful, you know. Uh, so, type of story. Bill Murray, Andy are, McDonald, are the Bill characters Murray. aware that they're repeating, or is it just you're you? the only one aware? You're okay. aware. You as as. The... But you can try. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil it because I think that's part of the fun. But gotcha. you know, you you're aware. Mm-hmm. But it's not like you can't tell anybody. So, um, so you, but you are somewhere, someone in that world. It's not like it's a god game where like, you. Yeah, just, yeah, you're, you're. Okay, yeah, it's, you yeah. are okay. a character. Okay, and, 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 basically a, and basically, a mystery is unfolding. Is. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Is it? Actually. Is it? Xbox well, PC let me, exclusive. Yeah, I think it's it's that exclusive. It's probably time uh, too, right? Because right now it is only announced for the Xbox platform and then microsoft windows okay so um but that seems really fun um you know other games that i tried out i, I did play uh the ascent uh got through kind of the opening mission um you know seems pretty interesting um you know uh but you know haven't really put you know much more time than than the opening mission which you know was admittedly a little bit slow i heard that it does open up and and, and get better um you know after that did you um, find that like even really early on, maybe I'm projecting that <laughs> I, I probably am. That there was like a door that they didn't. I felt like they didn't tell me the buttons like to press to do certain things at the beginning. There was like a door. I'm like, well, how do I get through? Was, you know, you walk up to it and it like turns red. Yeah. Like, well, what am I supposed to do here? I kind of okay. That's around. that's exactly that's exactly where I am. What am I supposed to do there? I, I just kept pressing buttons until it like opened. It was weird. like I thought I was supposed to shoot the thing above it. Maybe that's what I, I thought. kept highlighting and then. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if people want to go back and play that, but I, you have one more game left on your list that I think I would like to get a a foursome together to play. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. The last game I had on my list is Mario Golf Super Rush. Um, so I was just playing, just playing through the story. You know, pr- um, got to the stage that everybody really hates, which was I think is the mountain stage. Um, oh, the one with the tornadoes. So you have yeah, to. Yeah. yeah, no, that one sucks. Um, this is. This I did beat. Good. I, I beat that one. I, I beat that stage, and, and I don't think I went. Back, I don't think I've gotten. I haven't played much more since then. Uh, but got through the tornado stage. That one. That one was a little tough. Um, you know, and and the game's all right so far. Um, the you response know. didn't seem very warm for this game. Yeah, I, I mean, feel like it burned real quickly. Like people were talking about it, and then. Almost immediately, uh, something else, like something else came out, so we stopped talking. And, about and it. I think people wanted a so, little bit more role playing aspect. They want the Camelot golf games, but they yeah right, they wanted they, made they wanted for a while though. Right? They wanted the GB right. uh, the the GBC games, right? The, the Game Boy so, Color games. Yeah, so you know, um, but I'm I'm kind of a sucker for golf games. Like I, I you know, I enjoy golf things story. Like Remember, you golf. really were excited about the golf story. Golf story was real good. Yeah, I really golf story. Golf story. Oh, although golf story is, is it a golf game? I mean, it's you play uh, golf in yeah. Like you know, it, but, like if we're gonna if we're gonna draw that like is Mario part like is Mario golf like you're running down the course. That seems pretty yeah. realistic. So, like, That's what I've seen on golf yeah. courses. I don't know about you, but yeah. um, like I even like playing like clap hands. Uh, golf on 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 Apple Arcade. I played a, a fair amount of that as well. So, okay. um, but yeah, that's what I've been playing. Anybody um, play Split? Like, what about you? Let me get a question in the chat about anybody play Splitgate. I Split played game. it before no, this round of the beta. Yeah, I played it a while ago. It's I was going to say we got yeah we got sent codes. I'm not I'm not familiar back. with that game. This is Portal and Halo mixed together. Yeah, it's free, oh, right? Um, it is free, and they just announced what it was downloaded ten million times, okay. and will be staying in beta indefinitely. Uh, okay. Perfect. So as they work on it, so like it seems like it, it hit, like people liked it, but uh, they uh, their launch plans have changed due to that. Um, you seem pretty slick. Um, I don't know if Will is on, but I know he was. Uh... Uh, championing Splitgate quite a bit the newest version. I need to check it out again. I mean, it's on everything for free, so no re- I don't think it's on Switch though, is it? I don't believe so. Yeah. Engage um, next uh, year. Next year. But yeah, it, it's on there. It's on their. Uh, and the game dot com version comes out. Their 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 notes, uh, their release notes like Engage coming, but only for the QD. So, oh, yeah. they're they're, yeah. they're locking out the taco talkers, right? You're, they're locking out the the first version of the. <laughs> you try to move the battery to play a game. Like, what were they thinking? Anyway, um, Take that, Gizmondo fans. <laughs> uh, ben was trying to throw it over to Mike. So, Mike, what are you playing? Yeah, I mean the the thing that I've played the most, <laughs> God's honest truth, uh, over the last say month, month, uh, month and a half, I guess, since it came out. Um, so, Aaron, you mentioned many times this this pinball table um, that I've got, and this is the the At Games Legends uh, pinball, which comes with twenty two Gottlieb tables, um, which are made by a company called Farsight, or like the the adaptations of them are made by this company called Farsight, and they they seem fine at first, but then they also sell additional tables, and everything else that they sell is made by. Uh, a company called Magic Pixel, and they have the rights to make. I, I know I don't know if it's pronounced Zachariah or Zakaria, but either way, um, another like li- like real pinball manufacturer from back in the day, and they they sell like bundles of of tables that they made from there, which are both original tables and then like revamped tables and like reimagined versions of them. So a lot of those tables are like three different versions of them. And I played through some of them, and I was just like, okay, these these are kind of like better physics, and but I, I don't know that I love these tables. Well, just after 4th of July, the same company, Magic Pixel, uh, put out a four-pack of new, brand-new pinball tables, not based on anything, um, not any real pinball tables in the past, but uh, uh, Taito properties and they're going to release two more packs of these each one's four tables a piece so the first set of tables was uh space invaders 
Rostan, Darius, and this old game called Frontline, which I'd never played before, but I looked it up and it's, it's pretty primitive. But um, it's it's sort of like Commando, but even more primitive than that. Um, and after playing with these tables, um, probably the, the two best are, in my mind anyway, Space Invaders, which is the most unique. It is a tower defense game that you play on a pinball table, which is it's, it's interesting and at first it seemed really, really cool. Um, but I quickly remembered I don't like tower defense games at all and this is not changing my mind but it's still it's still cool i i think it's a really neat idea it's not the first one i've heard of apparently there's other um ones like it and it's very much a a um uh a video game pinball like there's things like creatures walking around on the play set like this this is not anything that happened in in, in a real table um but my favorite game in the set uh, after playing with all of them for quite a while, is Darius. And this absolutely could be a real pinball table. And I, at least to this moment, feel like if what I had purchased was a physical pinball table of this game and this game only, I think I would be just as happy as uh, as what I've got because this is, this is like my go-to game. Um, there's nothing like amazingly special about it. Like it's, it's a solid pinball table with nothing overly complicated and it, it, like like there's no, there's not even a multi ball in it it's 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 just here's a, a neat table with fantastic artwork um very good music and 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 somehow music that even though it repeats and repeats and repeats it doesn't drive me nuts like i repetition when it comes to music and sounds and stuff, just just drives me absolutely crazy. But so far, I don't get any of that from this game. It's just, it's really, it, I'm enjoying it a lot. Now, I do get frustrated with it sometimes, but that's the nature of pinball. There's things that's unavoidable. Um, but I played often enough. I played enough times that I I wound up getting on on the uh, on the global leaderboard, fifteenth uh, place. And uh, I've since it's since dropped to 16. But the thing about once I achieved that mark and I and I knew I could do better, like it was just that's the way the cookie crumbles when when the ball finally rolled down the center uh, unavoidably kind of a thing. I was so like drawn, like I, I want to beat that that number. And the more I tried, the harder I tried, the worse I got. To the point where I, I would be like, I, I can't even get 10% of that number on a regular game. And and it it I got really frustrated and to the point where I had I had I stepped away from it for like two days. And um and when I came back and that first ball rolled right down the middle, and I kind of was just like, that's a shame. Instead of getting all frustrated like I had been, and I thought, you know what, I'm I'm not even gonna I'm just gonna play this for fun. And and once I got into that mindset, I got I got right back up there, like close to the the scores I had been achieving. So it's like that's that's kind of the thing. Like if it happens, it happens. But I, I, you can't force the issue. And um, you know, pinball was at one point a form of gambling, and I can see why. It's it's there's there's so much you just can't control that it's the machine in this, especially when it's video pinball, it it definitely feels like the odds sort of change when certain things are lit on the play field. Um, but it, it's, it's the other thing about pinball in general that I never really thought much about, but I'm, I'm realizing that that pinball games, generally speaking are very much roguelike road light games. Um, they're it's like every life you're starting from scratch, you're building something up, and you, whether it's when you die or when the game ends, you lose all of it and you just sort of, you, you kind of, you have, but there is progression in these games. This is like you're, you're increasing the multipliers and stuff. It's just all things that I never really gave any thought to. Like as a kid, I always thought pinball was just, you know, it's, you try to slap the ball as hard as possible. So I've, I've learned a bit and it's, it's cool. And there's, as I say, there's more titles, uh, Taito, Taito tables coming out. 
And I'm excited for them because I hope I find them as enjoyable as the ones in this pack. But gotcha. really, uh, I've been playing that more than, than, than anything else. So that's really what I've been playing. Uh, Aaron, do you, you want to keep your, your lists separated? No, I'll, I'll, I'll be uh, a, little, a little briefer this week. <laughs> At least I'll try. Uh, so in terms of the analog stuff I played, I checked out a game called uh, Jaipur, which is a uh, 1v1 card game where uh, you start the game off as a pool of cards, five or six in the center. You have four cards, well, five cards total, but you can sort of separate. You have cards that are like diamonds, gold, silver, spices, linen, and like leather. And it's sort of a set collection thing. And you also have camel cards. So your camel cards are kind of separated. Somebody taught me how to play it on Board Game Arena. And then I, I, I already own the, the app version. I just never played it. So it's fun. Uh, you basically trade in sets of at least two of a, a type of card in order to get coins. But if you get the coins first, the, the early coins, are the coins on top of the, of the pile are usually worth the most. You might have like for diamonds, it might be like the first four or five coins are worth seven points, whereas they start to decrease in value. So you want to start collecting those sets early to get more points. But then you can also, if you want to trade for cards that are in the center, you can always just take a card or trade cards from your hand equal to the how many you want in the center. But if you, let's say you have two leathers you really don't care about, but you have a couple of camels, you can trade a camel in two and then get more cards out of the center. But then at the end of every round, whoever has the most camel cards gets five extra points, which can really make a difference. So, I don't know, it's pretty fun. Um, I might try to pick up the actual physical version, because I've heard a lot about it, never played it. Very fun game. So, it's quick, and I learned how to play. The person that was teaching me, I beat them. But, I mean, you know, we were talking and, you know, conversing, so I I know how that goes. Teaching a game and losing is something I'm very good at. Uh, I uh, did a preview. I need to actually send it to the, the designer for a game called uh, Alpujares, which is a, uh, it, it's a historical natural region in Andalusia, Spain. The whole theme is like people from Northern Africa, the Berber people uh, came into into Spain, and you know they uh, they were farmers and had some more advanced irrigation techniques, and many of the people who were already there. And it's a fun game. It's actually behind me on this table. I was uh, recording the video for it last night. And it comes with these really nice fruit pieces, like oranges and grapes and cherries. Uh, I, I love the component. It is a prototype, but it's, it's pretty slick. So um, I played that solo. Um, the one I put a picture up, Tiny, that you actually retweeted was a game called Divi Dice. It's a four-player game. I played with the girls yeah. two weeks ago, but it's a solo game, and I finally like started like the campaign. It's a game where uh, you roll dice, and then the how the game works in a multiplayer is you roll dice, and then you're able to you have like a you have three cards to start off with. And some cards are bonus cards, other cards are point cards. So bonus cards will let you like use extra die or uh, buy cards for less money. And then there's other cards that is purely points to win the game, where you complete them. You, or someone one card will say like you complete this card and then for every orange card you complete you get five points so you have to kind of figure out like do I want to do more bonus stuff to do more with my turns or focus more on pure points so I played it on my I was just playing a solo game and I've done it before but I felt like I don't know I was just uh, it, was, it was making more sense to me because in the regular game when you roll you can only write on cards in front of you if you're completing a card so like if you roll and you can use one or more of those values to finish a car, you can write something on it. But if you can't finish anything, you can't write anything. So every time you re-roll, all your opponents get a chance to take to use any of the die values that you roll. So the more you re-roll to help you out, you're also helping your opponents out. I like games where every turn is valuable because there's like no wait time. It's not like I mean, games where you wait a turn are okay, too. But in this one, I like the fact that you, no matter whose turn it is, you're invested. Because, Tiny, if you roll a six, I need a six. So everybody, the passive players can always write something down after your first re-roll. And then if you re-roll three times as an active player, you have a chance. You can either, like, take a card from, like, the deck, one of the, the point value or the bonus deck, and just add it to your... Yeah. 
Because basically the game is once somebody has a... You're building a grid of three by three cards. So once somebody does that, it sort of triggers an end game. But as you're going, like you just have to figure out, like, well, if I do if if I do too much re-rolling, I'm helping everybody else just fill out their cards. Because as a passive player, you can always write something down. Active, you can only write something down if you can finish it. So it's really good. I really like huh. it. Um, it's it's one of, it, it's it's not difficult, but it takes a second to like wrap your head around the idea of. You can kind of really do less when you're when it's your turn than you can any other time. The other thing you can do is if you re-roll twice, you can take a card, just add it to your deck, add it to your setup, which is kind of risky, or you're allowed to actually write down two things. So, but the cost for that is you probably allow your opponents to write stuff down that whole time. So you got to figure that out. Um, I've been playing a lot of Imperial Settlers Roll and Write. I own the physical version. It's rolling right where you're trying to, you have like wood or rocks and like, was it wood, rocks and fruit. You're filling out like a grid. You're, you basically want to, there's these tetramino shapes that you need to unlock and you have to roll certain resources to unlock them. And once they are unlocked, you can take those shapes and place them down below in like this grid. And they really updated the app. It looks, I mean, it was it was fine already, but it looks so much better. They really did a lot with it. So I'm really feeling it. It's really good. And then the last uh, analog thing I checked out was I checked out a solo play of Your Friend is Sad. I okay. I'll show you the box, actually. It's not out yet, but um, it's from uh, Jason Anarchy. Uh, he, made, he also made this game, too. That's the thing. I was going to say the art style looks familiar. So he, he also made uh, Millennial Manatees. I've talked about that a couple of times. So that's the one in the fanny pack. But <laughs> your friend is sad. It's, uh, I mean, it's it's a game, but it's, it. I mean, even in the box, there's like a card about like, you know, if you're depressed, numbers to call, and if you need help, things like that. But the whole theme is your friend is sad, and it's a cooperative game. You can play solo as well, where you're doing set collection. You're trying to collect cards that match up with, the friends feelings and emotions and it's sort of like a way of like you're helping them get through things and I, I, I mean winning is sort of a collective thing so like I guess if you're the person who like scores X number of points for having helped them through a certain number of issues then you get to like flip over the the token and then like the token like they're smiling so it's fun um, hey do, do me a favor sure just raise up one of the boxes real quick I know it's going to be a little delay Okay, okay. Uh, you can you can put it back down. Now I'm gonna watch the Twitch stream for a second. Oh, did you see I'm pretty see? I'm pretty sure your camera slipped, so it's all backwards. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> but the front is, the frown is, is still there though. You can still see the frown. Okay, <laughs> so. like Lionel Kitty City. There you go. Oh. So I, I'm just trying to think about that. Like, is it kind of like uh, the investigative parts of L.A. Noir, and I was very bad at telling people's uh, emotional states no, in that. It, it's it's more <laughs> like there's cards that like say there's cards that'll say like melancholy or it, it'll the cards will just lay it out and then on, on the bottom of the card is like certain colors. Okay. And you're just matching those colors to sort of like thematically help them th work through the issues they're having. Gotcha. So yeah, it's fun. I never finished. I I got to a point in Lenoir. I just kind of I don't know what it is. I felt like I just kept failing the interrogations, or he would just go crazy. I was like, I can't play this game anymore. So yeah. Uh, and in terms of the video game stuff that I played, uh, I'm always playing some Halo Master Chief Collection. It runs really well on PC, by the way. I don't. I I, don't know, I play. I kind of flip between PC, Xbox. It's yeah. Like, I'm not good at it, but I still I still play it regularly. Um, I started playing Dragon's Lair. Something I I, I think I I don't beat it every do you really, year. Do so you really arcade play game? Yeah. Do you yeah. really play well, Dragon's Lair? I, I, I experience and watch Dragon's Lair. Did yeah, you like it's more fun to watch. I would just watch a YouTube video? Was it like on a DVD <laughs> remote? Like how were you playing this? Oh, like, on Xbox. I was just playing okay. on Xbox. So you know, you hit the little button. You know, it, it's fine. It's does it have connect functionality? Like you just yell up. I think it down. did actually. I oh, honestly think it, which doesn't <laughs> make any so sense terrible. when you think about it, because it's yeah. 
I put 12 minutes on here, but I didn't, it ne- like I told you before the show started, it never launched. I kept hitting the A button and just kept making the doom, doom. Never launched. Don't know. Gotcha. Uh, didn't play that. I mentioned Pinball FX3, so because I was at Mike's house playing all those pinball games, I was playing a ton of pinball games. I'm not good at them. People say, you know, have you, you un- tried uh, Demon's Tilt? I have. I'm not good at that it's, either. It's, it's fun, but it's different. Okay. I'll, like I'll the, just- the, the pinball machine has a thing where you can hook up a different video feed to it. Mm-hmm. So I, I hooked up, I bought it for the switch and I hooked that up and then I'm just using the joy cons like held on either side of the table to like simulate the flippers. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was, it was kind of neat to see that, especially since there's a lot going on on that table and the ball is very small, um, much smaller than in, in the, you know, the built in or the, you know, the, the games native to the, the pinball machine. Um, but there's the thing that bummed me out was there, there is like display lag. Hmm. doesn't matter what controller you're using. It's, it, I don't know why. Cause it's really not perceptible on the, on the games made for the table, but it, yeah, it was like, I tried, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I pulled the switch out and I just like held it in my lap in Tate mode. And I was like, you know, this, this is snappier. This, this is kind do of a bummer. Do you have a flip grip? No, 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 but I I'm, I have two if you want me to say I, I was going to say, I also have two. I've never opened <laughs> them. Doesn't everybody? I just have one. Uh, I don't. I, I have, don't I have I one that is unopened. That. I, I don't think I've ever used the one that I have, but I have one. Uh, I want to say I used it with the SNK collection. Uh, and there's a couple other things I think I've used it with. Hmm. Like, it, it's, I mean, it's just a piece of plastic. Like It is. Right. Right. So. But Jimmy yeah, Parrish uh, made it, so that's it did, uh, yes. It's a little more special. The retro, not himself. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing some Pinball FX3. Uh, so I'm enjoying that. Like I said, I'm not good at it. Um, Super Meat Boy Forever. I find myself when I don't know what to play, I just launch that and just kind of beat my head against those levels, which are can be insanely difficult. But you know, you, in a half a second, if that, you're back in. You, know, you die. You respawn. You just keep going. I know it it hasn't really gotten anywhere near the buzz of the original and it is different. Like the original it was more of a traditional platform where this one is more it's it's more auto running. I mean that, that is that that's how it works. But Ooh. I think it still does work. It's still it's still very fun, but it is different. Uh what else? Playing some Spelunker H D. I play that on the PS4 version on PS five. You can kind of you you can't do it on the fly, but I think on the main menu you can switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. That game is so frustrating, man. Oh my gosh. Is, this, is, the, is it the one that's like four player co op? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. But you die. I don't, you all remember the original Spelunker? Like, you die oh, from yeah. everything. I, I, I have, I, I still have a physical copy for the NES. It, like, it, it's at least as brutal as the original Donkey Kong in if you fall more than like nine inches, you just die. Oh, yeah. It's, it's more brutal. It's, and then there's a ghost that's follow. You see a lot of those games where the ghost follows you if you take too long. No, the ghost like halfway through is like, hey, I'm coming. Well, and once you hit a checkpoint, you sort of recharge this meter. But yeah, that that ghost really like is on the NES version. You could use this weird like gun thing. Yeah, on the ghost. you spray the ghost and it kind of shrinks. Yeah, it, until it just disappears and then. Until but the if next you one. if you spray it too late, it'll still move towards you while it's shrinking right. and still kill you. So. Right. You right. got to do it the right time. Um, what else? Uh, Psychonauts. I'm trying to finish it before the new one comes out. Before the new one comes out next week. The problem yeah. is I'm playing it on the, you know, the, the series. The series Backwards X. compatibility. Yeah, yeah, and it's fine. But, of course, it's, but it's mapping, like, the black button, the white button. And I'm just like. And also, it's one of those games, like, if you come back to it and you it's been a while. I really Yes, you have a checklist. Yes, you have objectives. But I'm still like. What? You're lost. I'm very lost. Gotcha. So I, I, I want to beat that game. I never have. I'm. I don't know. I might beat my head way you know, all the way through it. We'll see what happens. Uh, what else? Play a little bit more Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Um, upgraded some weapons. Kind of got over myself. I'm still gonna. I'm gonna keep trying it. Fun game. I, I enjoyed playing. I, I played through it. I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, it, it it checks all the boxes. It's just all those games. Normally, I just kind of just zone out. Like I don't know, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna the only thing I didn't like is that in the you know after you beat the game and you go back to New Game Plus, mm-hmm. you know 
I, I assume you're decently far into the game. Like, um, oh. I am the other Lombax character flying around at this point for the okay. first time. Um, at, so. at some point in the game, you get like a piece of equipment that allows you to move faster. Okay. And, you know, and, and then it becomes like just like a critical part of how you just traverse. Uh, and right. when you, and, and so you probably play like three quarters of the game with that skill, right? But when you go back into New Game Plus and you don't have, you don't start off with that skill anymore. Like that. Oh, uh, you don't get to take it with you. And in- like in- you have your weapons and you have all the uh, upgrades, oh. but you don't have that piece, like that skill. They didn't design and- the game, the early beginnings of the game, to use it. Is that? Well, actually, no, because there are a couple of like platforming places that you can't get to until you go back with, I think, certain skills. Um, and that might be one of them, hmm. but it's just, I, I started new game plus on that and I'm like, I'm moving so slowly and it just kills me. Like I just, it's it just, you know what I mean? I just, I just can't, it, it, yeah, it was just, you know, it was just, it's, it was just really irritating. So irritating stick. That's a game. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to try to beat it. Um, so a coworker might let me borrow it, and he'll, you know he'll pay me every now and then. Hey, how's it going? So you know I want to give him an update, so I better keep playing it. <laughs> uh, gotcha. Check out a game called Kur K U R on Steam. It's a first-person shooter. It's sort of reminiscent of some older, I don't know, not quite like Quakeish, but it definitely has some trappings of some older games. It has sort of a pixelated kind of look. It's pretty cool. I'm having a, I'm having a fun time with it. Really cool weapons, a lot of secrets. I'm digging it. Um, playing some, I play some Super Sammy Roll on Steam, 3D platformer, uh, kind of an alternate route kind of thing where you know you can make a beeline to the end of the level. Like there's an owl you need to get to at the end of the level. Like, like a lizard you stick his tongue out. Um, you're collecting little. Oh, I see the, the 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 clock to beat to finish the level is like a minute. So every coin you collect extends that by like a second. So you you, you can't really dawdle. You have to get through there pretty quickly. And then a game I always go to because I just can't help myself is WWF No Mercy Run 64 because I just can't stop playing that game. So it's when you play Halo Master Chief Collection, what do you are you like playing through? Like what do you what are you actually playing? Oh, multiplayer, just multiplayer, and in the social one, not like the other one. Just oh, which game are you playing? Oh, multiplayer. Um, probably was it just four? I guess. Okay. I used to have the other ones checked, and I was like, I don't want to do that. So I just, <laughs> I just have four checked, and I'm like, I'm good. So, weird. You said, yeah, weird? I, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I like, would have assumed it was three or maybe two. No, like if you're if you're interested in playing, you know, like more moderny Halo, why don't you just play Halo? 5? Well, I guess Halo Five's still not on PC, right? No, it's it's not part of the. Oh, it's not. I don't. I, I guess I could. Play I don't five, believe yeah. five is part of. The it's not five. part of Master Chief Collection, right. but it. I, I forgot if they. I, I thought the only thing they I'm put sure on PC on. was Forge. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, before yeah, Forge is definitely on on the Master Chief Collection. I don't, maybe you're right. I, maybe I will do that, but I don't know. I just do it. You know, it's that's it, the same thing with like Super Meat Boy. I don't know what to play. I play Halo. I play Super Meat Boy forever. So I thought gotcha. those on. So that's enough for me talking, Tiny. Uh, I'll finish that up quick because I haven't played a whole ton. Uh, I am continuing to work through the Great Ace Attorney uh, Chronicles on mm-hmm. Switch. So I've uh, finished my first case, and I'm, I don't know, halfway through the second one. Is that um, to the part where you say objection that- yet? <laughs> Sorry, you both were talking Sorry. at the same time. Uh, Mike, no, I, uh, well, so like in the first one, you're kind of, you have to prove your own innocence. So, and like, this is the first, like, so the the setting is this is supposed to be oh this isn't um, Phoenix Wright no this is not Phoenix Wright this uh, is this okay. is the one um, where like uh, essentially you're the your character and uh, uh, what China has just opened up to the east so they're starting to talk with like they're starting to take on what you would consider a more European style of, of procedural and so like you've been accused and uh, of a foreigner has been killed and you're the one that's been accused and they want to go through this quickly because they want to get back to Britain to be like, Hey, we've taken care of that person. 
uh, and we should keep our treaty together. And so like you're kind of being railroaded um, and you have to go through. And now the second one, uh, you're on a boat, but you were a stowaway and you've now been accused of killing your best friend. It's there's some stuff there. Um, so I'm I am slowly working my way through it. Uh, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot of reading. Like, there's not a whole lot of, of text. But like, if you enjoy that, the the kind of if you played Phoenix Wright or some of the Danganronpa, uh, like trial sections or that kind of stuff. Like, there is the hey, find the fallacy, try to under try to put together the clues, um, to it. And it's it's been a it's been an interesting ride so far. Uh, that is on Switch. Uh, ben, you are you asked something, and then I realized I didn't. I I, I wasn't sure if the, this was like a compilation or a remake of games or so what, what exactly. It is. This is a compilation of two games that apparently a lot of the community feels should have been one already because it's it's the same character over the same like the first collection ended when it came out originally on a cliffhanger, and then the second one finishes what's going on with that character. So it is not Phoenix Wright. It is not Apollo Justice. Uh, it takes place in like the 1800s. Um, so it's it's definitely it's definitely interesting. Like I think the art style looks amazing. I have it on Switch. I think it's also on PS4 or five. I want to say. Um, so like if if again part of it is like you you go through and like look at everything and be like could that have been used as the murder weapon and then uh i just got introduced to herlock shomes uh which is the uh non-patent or uh, copyright infringing sherlock holmes character um uh, who yeah uh he's he's a real interesting idea what's up what is the deal with sherlock holmes it's like so I was listening to something about this and I will say I didn't go confirm this, but I will repeat it and hope it's true. Uh, That's how that works. Sherlock Holmes is a public, uh, a, a character in uh, public, domain. Public, public, public domain. public domain. Up until a point. What? Where if you get to uh, and uh, the the rights for, uh, who is the author for Sherlock Holmes? It's in my head. Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. Arthur Conan Doyle. Yeah. Yeah. So up until a point where you get to like a version of Sherlock Holmes, which is still owned by the family. So like you can have the super intelligent kind of jerk Sherlock Holmes, but you can't have the friendly Sherlock Holmes because technically he was a separate character that they still have the copyright to, right? That would be the right, term. it's not a patent. So yeah, I guess it would be copyright. Um, oh, if you if you write a story, it's like the weirdest, like, oh, it's weird. It's, and it's, it's like crazy. Sherlock Holmes is a total jerk. But at the Public end, of the, but at the end of the story, he, he smiles. He smiles. Right. He's just like, oh, my God, no. His t he turned that frown upside down. You owe us a thousand dollars. I am by no means a lawyer. Uh, nor have I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express, uh, but yes, from what I, uh, when I was, I was listening like uh, what some, some of the people <laughs> I follow, some sort of big city lawyer, city lawyer. or any city lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like it, my understanding is yes, there there is like a some kind of significant character deviation that one is public, some kind of significant. Not. So does that and mean all these Sherlock Holmes games? Sherlock Holmes everything is a jerk is because. That falls into the public domain version of Sherlock Holmes. Jerk Lock Holmes. Jerk Lock Holmes. <laughs> so uh anyway, yeah, and this like this this one, I, I I don't know if localization just did it to be funny or whatever, but yes, this is oh. sure uh Herlock Sholmes. Um and we we will see. I like I just met him and in, in Spurlock he's, Domes. He's he's already accused me of murder and whatnot, so we will find out what's going on there. Uh and I am on the second to last chapter of the first Dead Space now. So like I'm about to to finish that up and move on to Dead Space 2. Uh the Dead Space ending. Those games played any of those games before. Well, like I'm going to play this game so that they can go, you know, release the remaster or whatever the redo that they're that they have uh EA Motive making right now. Um Let's hope they don't fire everybody from the studio the moment the game comes out. We will see. Uh uh, like I, I don't know, Dead Space Two is the one that I remember being the most. Uh, how do I say this? You have to shove a needle in your eye 
And like, I, I think that. you at least do it twice and it is terrible. Uh, like I'm good on a lot of things. That is not something I was, I'm super comfortable with. It was with. pretty unnerving. That, that, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, that is already something in my head, but there's also DLC that I didn't realize that like, you remember the, the light gun game that came out on the Wii Dead Space Extraction? Yeah. There's apparently DLC for Dead Space 2 that takes those characters and what happened after at the after the end of Extraction. So uh, I've been watching a, a Let's Play of that. Like, oh, maybe I should check that. But it's only available on PS3. Which uh, also had that Extraction game as a move. As a like move a downloadable title later, title. but only downloadable. Yeah, they didn't make a physical, at least in the US. They didn't Which is probably it. delisted now, right? Probably. Um, so, uh, one thing I didn't mention at the above, but, uh, and you know, we'll put it under news and I'll just skip straight into that. Uh, yeah, there was a Pokemon, uh, direct this week and it was great. Like it was there. It was yesterday. Exactly. Um, they, uh, so they, they talked about their mobile stuff. Like, What's Hey, Pokemon? Pokemon go has been around for five years and we were celebrating that and, uh, their cat, their Pokemon cafe thing and whatnot. Um, but so what Shining Diamond and Exquisite Pearl or whatever the, the remakes of Diamond and Pearl come out this November. They showed that off. Prince's um, Diamond and Pearl Pokemon. So, hey, I'm, I mean, I already have it pre-ordered. I know. I, I know me. Um, and then they showed off Arxis, which is the open world Pokemon game that comes out next, like January, February. It's called Arxis. It's Pokemon The Legend of Arxis or something like that. Okay. So it's it's more like you'll be able to you'll see all the Pokemon in in world. You're wandering around. It also is weirdly going back to like a steampunk arts. Like your Pokeballs are steampunk Pokeballs. So like what when you throw, is it, on? Uh, it will be on Switch. Is this um, free to play or something? Or is nope. It... it will be. It will be a, a no. They're they're free to play as Pokemon Unite, which seems to be making them a lot of dumb money. Um, if you yeah, want to play a, a Pokemon MOBA, but... uh, but like this one, it, it'll come out next year and it's, it's kind of like, they've shown some changes to Pokemon designs. Um, like Growlithe, uh, has much more like, uh, I don't know, like a furry pompadour on his head, um, which is Growlithe is a, a, a fire dog in the Pokemon universe. Um, like you do. So I, anyway, you should check out, check out the direct. They had a lot of fun stuff. Um, no one hates Pokemon more than Pokemon fans. So, like, if you want to go look on Twitter, what? like, it's the the only pe- the people that hate Pokemon most are people that like Pokemon. So, like, when anyone talks about anything Pokemon, there's always a crowd of people that be like, this ter- "Why don't they make Pokemon?" That's for me to be like the ultra high trainer. Like, all I want to know about is EVs and IVs and how, like. Like, yo, Pokemon is always going to be for seven-year-olds. Like, that is the target audience. Everyone else, if you want to enjoy it, have fun with it. But, like, they're never going to make the hardcore RPG, like, fighting RPG. Uh, dark Pokemon. Like They did that. They did a dark. The, both GameCube games are about But it was still Pokemon. for seven-year-olds. It's still, yeah, it's still for their target yeah. audience. Um, like, you fought dark Pokemon and, like, cleansed them of evil or whatnot in the, the two GameCube spinoff games. Um, so anyway, uh, it was, it was this week. Um, they also announced a, a, a switch light that's going to have, uh, what for diamond and pearl. So, uh, I will not be buying oh, that. Right. So, uh, because it's a switch light mostly. <laughs> so, uh, you, but yeah. you just say you ordered one of those too. I will not be buying that. Oh, you will not be buying it is, that. It is a switch light. I don't need a switch light in my life. Uh, did you say no? You said, A, you need three. <laughs> See, you, you, you figured me out. So, Math. Uh, but if they come up with an OLED Pokemon theme. There, you know, that's a different discussion. Because uh, I will say, actually, I guess I didn't talk about this either. My refurbished Switch dock and charger came in this week. Oh, I ordered one too. I ordered the Animal it's, Crossing one. It's the Animal Crossing yep, one. Animal Crossing, yep. And like, I got one. Uh, it's like. It, Mine is here Monday. I'm like, oh, this looks different. So I also ordered, I, I guess I, we will talk about stuff I ordered real quick. I also ordered the Super Nintendo and Virtual Boy books from Limited Run Games uh, okay. uh, when they put them up. Oh, the Jeremy uh, Parrish's books. Yeah, the Jeremy okay. Parrish books. Uh, I did not get to get the collector's editions, so, oh. you know, very sad. Uh, but the Virtual Boy book comes with, you know, the red-blue glasses to 
<laughs> look at virtual boy stills. So um, I don't know. I I will read all of these books I own someday. Um, That's but what we that tell will ourselves. Probably not stop me from buying more. So uh, with that, I think there's a voicemail. Yes, yeah, so we have a, a voicemail from friend of the show or friend in real life, uh, Will. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm able to play it. Hopefully it works. Friend in real life. You you met him. He's on the. Sh- <laughs> Did you? Did Wonderful you actor. <laughs> I hope I hope you like with cost of living increases. Fiverr is just not enough anymore. Like yeah, I hope you've given him uh, like a sixer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Block. I see plot. So you hear it? Let's talk about yep. yes. epic and inner sloth because. I think everyone knows I've had a beef with Epic for a long time. And a lot of times people are ask me why. Why why do I not like Epic? Because they're the worst. And this whole Epic versus Inner Sloth Among Us Fortnite bullshit reinforces that. On one side, you've got Epic. 700 devs working on Fortnite worth about $30 $30 billion. On the other side, you've got Inner Slaw. It's like seven dudes that are worth less than a million total. So, you know, it's just, it's terrible. You think Epic could have paid, you know, seven of those 700 devs to come up with some brilliant, independently creative game type for Fortnite? But no! What did they do? They ripped off an indie dev because they're incapable of coming up with their own ideas. Epic is where games go to die and where good ideas go to die. And the sad part (laughs) is that the original version of Fortnite versus the world was actually an original, fun, interesting game. And they shot it in the face because they jumped on the moneymaker of online shooter. And, like, it just blows my mind. It's complete bullshit. Not only is it bullshit that they pretty much ripped off all the mechanics as well as the map from Among Us, but on top of standing on the neck of an indie dev to make a money grab... Their entire lawsuit against Apple is based on the concept of we're the underdogs. Look at us. Pity us. They're not the underdogs. They're worth $30 billion. They're the people that are ripping the underdogs off to make a quick buck. And now they're trying to get out of the Apple lawsuit, which is, you know, it's contract law. Like, they agreed to this. They agreed to these these qualifications of to be able to be on the Apple Store, now they're going to throw a fit. I have never seen a game development company so obsessed with making a quick buck. And that's saying a lot, because Blizzard exists. <laughs> There's so much. There's so much to unpack there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so like first, I guess let's pick our favorite billion to trillion dollar company um, since uh, Apple's worth two trillion dollars and, and Epic's worth whatever, 30, uh, about 30 billion dollars. Uh, I don't care about either of them. Uh, like whatever they can. Oh, but yeah. As um, a shareholder, I do appreciate Apple. It, right. You you appreciate the, the but like, I guess I, I'm just Biased. so Biased. Art, like full disclosure i don't know there's there's a lot of stuff to unpack there like by no means is among us anywhere any like an unseen uh or a a, a trader game and i know will knows this um like it's by no like that's it's not unique in that scenario um those have been around like that's what werewolf within is and all that stuff um but I don't think we're mad at Ubisoft for doing the exact same thing because it's on VR, so no one plays it. Um, but like, I guess the question is: Are we like, are you going to be mad at Epic for like, if people are already playing this in Fortnite and they just essentially made this mode official? Like, are are you mad that they cater to their audience? 
<laughs> Will said, wait, Ubisoft still exists? <laughs> I mean, that, yeah, I mean, that, you Ubisoft know. is a huge company, like, I, yeah, like, <laughs> like, I, I just, I don't know, like, yeah. I mean, I think his point is well taken about kind of the hypocritical nature, oh, definitely. Right? Of, of Epic, right? I mean, yeah, you know, this whole Apple thing and pretending to be an underdog, obviously. They 30%? Are not, oh, my gosh. Right. Like, they they you know all I mean? do that, though. Um, we just talked you know, about Assassin's Creed. So, one sec. Retinue just came out and said, I can't remember the last game they put out. Uh, what, Ubisoft? Like, any of the Assassin's Creed games? Far any Cry, Far 18 Cry games. came out this year. And just Far Dance. Cry 19. Just Dance. Just Dance. Uh, <laughs> like, like Ubisoft comes out with games, all like especially at, at launches. Like, yo, Ubisoft's going to show up for is, your launch. They got your back. You know? <laughs> so, like, Ubisoft throws out uh, Rainbow Sixes, anything with Tom Clancy's name on it. Tom Clancy's uh, Just Dance, whatever. I mean, whatever it takes. So, <laughs> like, I, and I realize and I'm going to be the corporate apologist here. Of course you this. are. That's the role you play. <laughs> this, you know? this they is the need those role. ivory back scratches. This, this, this is the hero, <laughs> hero wrong. I just, like, I'm Tom not... Tom Clancy's cook-off. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, I, like, it would have been cool if they had worked with them. Like, I also bought, uh, what, uh, against the the... the the MOBA, or not the MOBA, the, the tower defense, like, build you. But, like, if you're going to make that argument, why aren't you mad that they pulled that idea from survival mode from Minecraft? Uh, like, it's just construction your own world in a different art style. Okay, um, I, I, okay, we all know that, well, I mean, Will said it, but his vitriol towards Epic began with him giving Epic money for the original vision of what Fortnite was. And now, if they, you have a physical copy of that game, I think it's worth. Does a lot that of money. exist? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah you could yeah. have gotten PlayStation Four. And like, but like, even if you had that, I'm so like they followed how the market like forty or uh, four thousand people bought that game, and then a million people downloaded their rough beta of a of a PUBG or whatever for for like, I don't know, like what would you do if you had something successful let me make sure i support this other thing too um like they didn't shut it down so they're already better than both activision and ea uh you can still play the original fortnite oh yeah you can still log into uh against the world mode okay, or whatever. I see you can probably PS4 still copy. pay for it too that's going well it's at 50 50 dollars but you can bid on it so yeah i just like again i don't disagree on like Epic signed the deal with the yeah, Apple that, that Store. Whole thing is weird. Like that that's a whole thing. And like they've had now had to like, oh, we don't do this on computers, blah, 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 blah. Uh so um Although, like, you know, one thing I do appreciate about Epic filing that lawsuit is like all of like the bad All the info stuff yeah. that's yeah. come out. Like that that's been kind of interesting to see. What is a computer, Mr. Xbox person? Well, I guess our consoles are a lot like I, like I mean, there's been a lot of like good information, but I don't like I don't know. Epic Games is yes, I guess it is the Batman. Like it's the Dark Knight thing. Like oh, you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Well, it's because, like, like Activision. I mean, Epic Games exactly. Think Activision about how they started. Way. They started as a, a yeah. We're gonna give developers, developers that, credit. Right. Yeah, and none of those people have anything to do with. with they Act sold it away. With like, yeah, with them. I mean, Epic is is similar. Um, yeah, Jazz so Jackrabbit is not exactly putting on a suit and tie and arguing in the court of law for for Epic Games. No, but like I, I, I mean, I will argue that I think Fortnite is has been a cultural touchstone for games. Oh, um, definitely. And like, yeah. just even look at it now. It is the only game where you can play as Captain America, Superman, and like John Wick legitimately at any time you want like it like it is the ultimate confluence of of brands um yeah whatever. it's it's ready player one pretty much that honestly it is and if people are already doing this and they and that's my understanding is people are already kind of playing a like on private servers kind of deal like they're already playing their own version of among us inside Fortnite, and they made this an official mode or whatnot and they supported it like I'm not I'm I guess I'll be as mad at them as I would at Bungie for doing the zombie mode. Well, it's it's or, no different than when they they were working on 
this, you know, save the world game for what about six, eight years, whatever it was. It felt like it was forever. You remember all the, th- hey, they're, they're still working on Fortnite, I guess. I haven't mentioned it in like I mean, two years, but they I still guess still say they're working on uh, against the world mode. Um, but then right, at the really? last minute, they're like, oh, yeah. hey, this PUBG thing is popular. Let's do that. It's right. not like they no, came it, up with this idea. And it and it took off. But like, and it, well, yeah, and it took off, and and they did their thing. And is PUBG still like, popular? Pub. My understanding is PUBG is popular outside of North America. Like, if you talk about battle royale in North America, it will be Fortnite. If you talk about battle royale anywhere else in the world, it will be PUBG still. Um, now the name is called Player Unknowns Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. Yeah, Battlegrounds. Pu- PUBG <laughs> Battlegrounds. Because so. because there's a different mode that is something else but they still have like without it what are you going to call it like oh player unknowns uh, uh save the world like people are like what are you talking about i mean and so i, I saw retinue put in the beef isn't the play uh it, is that it's such a blatant ripoff even down to the level map and they were giving zero credit to interest yeah yeah you're that's a right. that's a legal part like they're definitely not going to acknowledge well, that you know just like they stole those dances from you know the people that the backpack you know, kid from the k- people who stole those dances to somebody else too. So it, right. Right, right, and didn't give any credit to those people. Right, like it's contagious. Know, it's kind of par for the course. Uh, I mean, it, it's a continuation. It's it's a way to that they protect themselves mm-hmm. um, from anyone trying to come get money. So yeah, like I'm I'm not shocked at that. Uh, if this is going to be the reason you're going to stop playing Fortnite. It seems like it should have been a reason to stop playing Fortnite a while ago. Well, he never uh, really, I think his whole thing is he never really, so, outside of the original vision, he doesn't play Fortnite at all. And then, then he okay. has integrity. He's been upset about them for this forever. I've been upset about since they took Unreal Tournament. Like, that was such a blatant ripoff of Quake. Um, so, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't know. Games do this, and then everyone makes their own thing. And in theory, the one that gets popular might not even be the best one. But it's the one that won out. Um, so, uh, yeah, like it, it's it's going to be it's it's a discussion each of us have to have with ourselves. Yeah, we we all kind of uh, pick and choose the things that we're going that I mean, draw a little I have bit higher. The, I have the Diablo two resurrected open beta pre installed on my computer. You guys ready to try it out this weekend? Uh, no, because no. I have not opened my Blizzard launcher <laughs> in like. Almost two years now. Uh, I really play Blizzard games, and I'm not going to start. Not, not now. Yeah, I have, I have. Yeah, there's no incentive to, to go. None back. whatsoever. So, I, and again, but there. I mean, there's. I, I know I saw a bunch of stuff about people talking about and like devs coming out and being like, there are a ton of people that work on these games, and like these few bad people that sour all of this, and like people have to make a, the decision each for their own. Like, what is where is their where is their level of moral outrage or decision of how they're going to handle and respond to it is is an individual one like agree well and to, to wrap this all up will says this is a hill i've chosen to die on <laughs> bring me my flag and musket so <laughs> 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 he has made a decision he's like so yeah i mean when i, when I met will we were we were in the office and somebody asked somebody said something about uh, when do you get it done? I get it done in a fortnight, and they meant like two weeks. Will just went off; like he jumped onto the conference room table and said, "You listen here, okay? Do you know I'm, the original vision? <laughs> I was here to build things to stop the zombies. That I look gave a them lot money, like, like the one from. Uh, I built that? that fence. <laughs> Uh, naughty. What's the so one where? We shouldn't give Will V Bucks for his birthday, then, right? No, we shouldn't. That would just. <laughs> or we should. I produced the bullhorn composed of sheer rage. So, uh, on the other hand, I mean, if if we're gonna have this discussion, did you guys also see the stuff that came out about Roblox? Like no. the the metrics around Roblox. Oh, apparently, and, like, it's the most played game. It is. It is the most played game, and like, so. If you the like, and people, people, Roblox. people build inside of it, like they build the games inside of it, but a creator can't get paid out until they make a thousand dollars and then they get paid out in Robux. So they don't get their money out. And the exchange rate for buying Robux is different than the exchange rate for exchanging them back for real money. Uh, and like at some point, someone had calculated out like something like 25 to 30 percent of their user base is below 13. So oh, children. Yeah. Oh. And they're like, cool. 
So if you take this and how much uh, a creator makes and blah, like they figured out how much child labor is in there because uh, they're like a $45 million or for, uh, 45, $45 million. billion dollar evaluation. And like it came out to be like $237 uh, for a child's time of work or so. It was, I'm like, oh, the thing with that real. game is it's so rough. My but, son just started playing it like but, two weeks ago. Yeah, my youngest, my eleven year old, like she, she will play some some Roblox, man. And I'm just like, there's like there's no sound effects, and it's like the same music. But she doesn't care. She she loves it, and she has me she had me I, playing it one day. I was like, this is frustrating. <laughs> but, I, but this even, I even gave him and, and let him buy some some in game currency. Yeah, we we bought her some some Robux before, so. Not a lot, but we, 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 I've definitely purchased them. So I don't know. It's it's free. She likes it, so gotcha. I don't know. I don't know. I've been seeing this this video from people makes games making the rounds where they they kind of break down like how at least they consider it exploitive of young developers and whatnot. Oh, I'm sure and it is. It oh, I mean, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. I mean, not, no, not at all. You know, if, if you want to participate in that. You should be buying some stock in the company. Oh uh, yeah, I'm uh, Rhett Noob. There are also probably a large amount of Nazis on Roblox. I have, I have no doubt their uh, uh, moderation is about as good as the rest of their their product. So, mm. uh, so anyway, so, so this went a direction. Yeah, uh, you want to wrap up? Uh, yeah, let's finish. Uh, ben, uh, do you want to do shout outs, plugs, anything like that? that nature um yeah no, nothing really i mean you know hopefully you know just stay stay get vaccinated get your booster um hopefully you know events that are planned in the next couple of months you know we'll see you know, keep an eye out to see if what, what happens there I, i'm still wondering if there's going to be a last minute pax west cancellation because I can't imagine that that's going to go off, uh, you know, smoothly. Um, but if not, I hope to see people at things like Too Many Games and Midwest Gaming Classic and other event, Mac, the next MAGFest and other events that, you know, uh, a number of us are thinking about going to. But, um, you know, just stay safe, do your part. And, you know, that's about it. Yeah, right, Noob. Uh, we'll see if Gen Con goes forward. So. Mm. It's been cons in this area. I didn't even realize. I didn't realize Awesome Con happened. I didn't realize Otacon actually happened. Oh wait, I thought. I uh, well, uh, Awesome Con awesome hasn't happened yet. Is this weekend? Yeah, yeah I believe it's, it's coming. This it's about to. I I thought that yeah. stuff was all canceled. I had no idea it actually happened. So, uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, we. Yep. Yep. Money <laughs> is on the table. Yeah, you're right, Mike. No, I mean, most of it's been said, but yes, uh, as I always do, I encourage ah, bleh, encourage those who are eligible to donate blood. And if you have any pets, to have them spayed or neutered. But uh, again, yes, be to, to follow the metrics, be safe, follow follow the regulations. And then know. keep it safer than that. Sure. Why not? Hey, time out for a sec. Did they just announce a new version of Skyrim? It's an oh, anniversary yeah. edition. Anniversary edition. Oh, it'll it'll also run on your Incl includes five hundred creation club mods, fishing, and support for next gen consoles. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> care. It's less than twenty bucks, right? Uh, is it? <laughs> like, is that a statement or a question? Both. N uh, nuclear. Nuclear. I don't see a listing. Uh, well, while you, while you look, here. I'm going to thank Ben for being here, for joining us once again. It's always a pleasure to have you, sir. Thank you for having me. I want to thank your son for chiming in with such impeccable timing. I, <laughs> <laughs> I needed that good laugh. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, thank you for the listeners. Thank you for the people who are on the uh, in the chat, you know, and on Twitch watching us. We appreciate you being here and chiming in, making the making the show even better. Uh, we got a, a comment. I can't hear from um, comment from uh, Kane Dell. Uh, Fallout seventy six big update in September. Apparently. Oh yeah, I saw Fallout World is coming to it. Don't even know uh, what that is. I I believe it's like more of the creation suite and whatnot. Okay. Uh, I was I was reading something about that and I was like, oh, 
If I like Microsoft that, bought Bethesda I, and I could get I all own stuff that for game. free, I don't, I don't. Well, so, don't we all own that game? Yes, we. Uh, do. Well, I own that game physically, and <laughs> along with Fortnite. Uh, Sorry, that was a. Callback. I don't know if I own a Fortnite nah, no, physical copy. No, uh, uh, anyway, yeah. Thank Tiny Mike. Oh, it's a pleasure doing the show with you all. Um, if you want to leave us feedback, um, you can leave us a voicemail like Will did, 202-573-7686, or leave us an email at podcast at and If you If you do uh, leave a voicemail, curse even more, please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what Mike said, for whatever reason. <laughs> all right, Tiny, how about you? Uh, hey, it is already the middle of, it's, it's past the middle of August. Uh, have you signed up for your Extra Life account yet? You can go to extra-life.org, sign up, raise money for your uh, local Children's Miracle Network hospital. There are 170 to choose from. Uh, and if you're not able to take part, uh, well, this weekend, uh, the 21st and 22nd, will be uh, Tabletop Appreciation Weekend. Uh, Aaron is, is not going to be taking part, which means I am off the hook. Uh, <laughs> I had big plans. I was going to do this whole day of like rolling rights on camera with other people. I got to go on vacation because. Oh, I have to go on vacation anyway. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? I'm just so uh, so. If uh, if you can't take part or if you're or unable to, you can also go to gameenthuscom slash extra life slash. Uh, and I'm just pointing at the the banner above. Um, that no one can see because it's blurred out. Well, it's on. It's no. It's a. Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's on, on the Twitch. stream. Yeah, hey. it's on. <laughs> Mike, we are streaming this. They can see you. <laughs> so, what no, now? They can't. They can't see Mike. No, we, we, we saw have, the camera when we were at your house. I was <laughs> going to say I have a comment about that. I think you should like your setup looked very nice. I think do it from the arcade. I'm glad you think things. <laughs> However, <laughs> I don't care. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, you should go to, go to gameenthuse.com slash extra life. Donate to your favorite Game Enthuse personality. 100% of the money you raise will go to uh, our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, John Hopkins Children's Hospital in Baltimore, Children's National, um, uh, Benny Off out in San Francisco, uh, in Oakland. Um yeah, so donate, and we we will start figuring out extra life stuff, and what we're going to do. So, and where we're going to do it. So board games uh, for twenty five hours. Address will be in the show notes. Address will be yes. in the show notes. Yes. Mike's address <laughs> will be in the show notes. Mike's uh, <laughs> one two three Fake Street, <laughs> Fake Avenue. One two three Assault uh, Suit <laughs> Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, rename the street. That suits. Well, assault. That is that's uh, suits you and no one else and everyone else will be very confused. Yes, they would. Where do I live? Uh, okay. uh, anyway, let's get out of here. All right. Thank everybody for being here. Uh we'll be back the week after next. Uh we'll we'll figure out we we'll see if we do something. We'll see. Oh wait. Right. You know what? We could, we, could, we could we could try we could try me like take up some of the, the workload, maybe. I have not asked Mike about this yet, so this is literally hey, the first thing he's hearing about. I am fine about. with that. So, I, didn't, I didn't know either direction here before so, it was stated. So, so we, we, We'll we see. Something. Maybe I'll stream next week. Who knows? Ben, is that we'll, a Nighthawk on that shelf? Uh, the router in the uh, background? Oh, the router? Yeah. No, that's uh, Asus. I can't remember the the, the brand. The, 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 yeah, I the thought ball. you were talking about a superhero. I was. I mean, there is also a router in the corner. Yeah, there is also a superhero named Nighthawk. Or Nighthawk. Several, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, anyway. Probably... All right. Let's yeah. go.